Hello, everyone. Undertale Yellow Day. Huzzah! I'm definitely not eating stuff last minute because I forgot to. Why would you even ask that? So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about the game before we start and uh, other details and updates. But also, hi everybody. Sorry if I was a couple minutes late. I saw the comments saying that I was late. Uh, die. Just give me a little bit. I'm just eating, you know, a little snacky poop. For anybody who might not know what Undertale Yellow is, I'm about to put you onto something crazy. Also, this this music that you're listening to right now is from the game. I'm very excited about it. What are you eating? It's like this like chocolate pudding bread. It's great. I also have some brookies, or not brookies, blondies, not <laughs> brookies. I have some blondies that I made the other night. They're like brownies, but without the brown part of the brownie, <laughs> I guess. And I also have a cup of tea so that I can stay awake. So, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't have started streaming. I still have food in my mouth. Anyway. Let me turn this down on my end. So, Undertale Yellow. I shouldn't have started streaming. <laughs> I was still eating. Under Undertale Yellow is a fan game based on Undertale that has been in development for over seven years. All the way back when around like Undertale first came out. This game started development over the years. Uh, the, the crew that has worked on it has gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, and it, it, it always felt like it felt like one of those games where like I knew it was going to bang when it dropped, but I had no idea when it was coming. In recent years, uh, one of my friends, Colin, uh, started working on the project and then through Colin I got to uh, do some beta testing for like glitches and stuff like that and when I tell you from the short time that I had with this game I knew it was going to be something amazing I knew I had to stream it day one when it dropped and that brings us to now so for anybody who doesn't know like I said this is an Undertale fan game it is uh, it is it, it pitches itself as a prequel to the original Undertale following one of the previous humans that fell down the hole uh, and and there it, it's the yellow the yellow heart human. Uh, if anybody has played the original Undertale, you know that like, you know, the main character of that game has a red heart or, or a red quote unquote soul. And this character has a yellow heart or a yellow soul. Uh, and their entire aesthetic is based around like this kind of like cowboy ish aesthetic and they have a little toy pop gun or at least I think it's a toy. I'm going to be honest. It's been a little bit since I beta tested this game. Uh, I forget when I did it, but it felt like it was years ago now. Uh, so yeah, uh, if if you're watching this and you're waiting for new Deltarune content, well, do I have the game for you to check out? Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's it. And like I said, this is a fan game. You can get it on Game Jolt right now. Uh, I believe I have it linked in the description of the stream as well. So if you like what you see and you don't want to be spoiled on the rest of the game, check it out. Uh, the team has busted their buns on this. Uh, and... I tweeted, I tweeted once, I think, after after I had beta tested parts of the game. I, I, I tweeted out 
originally my tweet was gonna say, guys, this game is gonna blow you away. Um, but I I didn't put the away part, and I just said, guys, this game will blow you. Uh, so that's that's kind of what what we're at now. Without further ado, now that we have the game introduced, I am now going to launch the game. Uh, and we will we we be gaming. Also, sorry if I'm a little bit uh, if I seem a little bit weird. It's been my this is my first time streaming alone, like on my own in like ages. So. It might be it might be a little bit to get me uh, fully back on the horse. But uh, yeah, if people like my uh, Delta Rune playthrough, well, let me tell you this game I'm really excited about, too. So let's let's just jump in. Hold up. There we go. For years, monsters have sealed away. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. But eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Mount Ebot, or is it Ebot? I don't know the pronunciation. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. I'm I'm so excited. I I can't. I have been waiting for this to drop for so long. I'm flipping out. Also, hope that the music isn't too loud. Let me know. It just... I love the original Undertale so much. Uh, it, I, I think it's a shame. It's a shame that I have never gotten to make a video about the original Undertale on this channel. I've tried in the past. It's hard to replay a game like Undertale. Uh, I played it before my YouTube channel uh, became the thing it is today. So it's really hard for me to make a video now after having played it like fresh back then to get my honest reactions. It, it would really just be a lot of stuff in retrospect like, oh, Papyrus. Oh, I love this. I love that. But getting to revisit this world after so long and, and it being Undertale Yellow, which is a game that I've been following even before I got to beta test it, even before uh, I've had friends work on it. Uh, this is just so exciting. And to top it all off, to know that this game is going to be good is just the icing on the cake for me. I'm I'm so excited about it. Anyway. No more dilly-dallying, I'm sorry. Yes, chat member. This is this is what if Frisk have gun. This is this is what the game is. That's all it is. This is a, it's just Undertale, but you have a firearm. So it's it's what if Undertale was set in America? All right. Here we are. We're gaming. We're gaming, guys. We're gaming. I love gaming. Rocket. Oh my gosh, it has been so long. Oh my gosh. Um compliment. It was flatter anyway. Doriel! The mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. Ah, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what's going on. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You are the first one to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. OMG Toriel is here? I mean, it's a prequel! 
Of course she'd be here in, in at least some aspect. Also, I love I love her like redesigned outfit. This is so cute. The the scarf is, is that a scarf or like a cape? I don't know. It, it looks cool. I, I like it. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. It's just like the original Undertale. She's doing these same exact things. We're free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. Yo, shout out. Sh shout out to the person that said, oh my God, she's so hot. Dude, she is like. How many pixels is that? I'm going to like guesstimate. That's like 500 pixels by 300 pixels. That was probably not close at all, but you get what I mean. That is that is a bunch of pixels. I get being horny. That is pixels. Anyway, smash. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press A to read signs. Well, good thing I figured that one out. Splendid. I'm proud of you, my child. Also, uh, there's a run button. This game has a run button. J just in case you wanted to know how peak this game is already, it has a run button. And also the running animation is like weirdly fluid. Like the walking animation is like the original Undertale, but the, the running animation, like there's a little bit of turning and like there's a little bit of a bounce to, to the step. That's so that's good. It should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, uh, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. And this is where we really start. My child! Are you all right? Oh dear, I'm afraid I can't reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay here, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. Okay, so, like I said... This is Undertale Yellow. Oh, oh, Undertale Yellow! No, I'm just... Anyway, uh, yeah. I think that that was the, the poster of the missing people that we had that fell off. Okay, so like I said, I beta tested this. So there are some aspects of the game that I know about in advance. Um, this was one of those things, obviously. Uh, it's very early on in the game. Uh, I think the place I left off on was probably near the middle of the game. And, you know, even then, this was so long ago that I don't remember a lot of this stuff at all. I just remember that it diverts like this and there are old characters, new characters, new plots, all the fun stuff. A few words are visible. Caution. B. Run. B? BBL? Am I gonna get a BBL? Also, interesting thing, I don't think the game actually had me enter my name. I just now realized that. I, I, I think, you know, compared to the original Undertale, I, I, I think that there's just a predetermined name for this character. I think it's just Yellow. I feel like the character's name is Yellow. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower. Hmm, you look confused. Toriel ought to have taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little old me will have to do then. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Oh, it's Clover. Okay, yeah, it... Of course, of course the child's name isn't Yellow. What am I talking about? It, the, the, the main character's name is Clover. I'm an idiot. Your LV represents your love. It's... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. 
If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Nice job there, buddy. In case you do get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. So yeah, right off the bat... Oh, well... <laughs> that way, it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me. And then, I'll save for you. Just like I save for you now. There's... One more thing. The king of all the monsters, Asgore. Well, he's been killing all the humans. The only way out is killing him, and, uh... Well... You're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much, though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place... Well, I hear they don't like visitors. So good luck! Howdy! Looks like you got it then. Okay, so... It seems like Flowey in this game is more of a direct ally, which is very unexpected. But, you know, you know, fuck it, we ball, you know, the whole thing. Flyer is giving fighting a try. Um, we're going to try to, for, for this run, uh, we're going to try to go full pacifist. Uh, full disclosure, I don't know if this game has a pacifist and genocide route or like neutral route. I don't know if it has the standard routes like normal Undertale. I have a feeling like it probably does have that to an extent. For this run, I don't know. Should we do like neutral or pacifist? I'm a I'm leaning towards pacifist. <laughs> Every everybody in the chat is going yippee! I I did not realize how how close how close this looks to that meme. Yippee! <laughs> um, compliment. You tell the flyer he looks proud. That's right. I knew you noticed. Shoot. <laughs> Comfort. You inform the flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. This isn't really me. But yeah, it seems like most people are aiming towards pacifists too. Oh, there we go. Mercy. Man, it is so... Okay. I said this earlier, but it is so good to be back and like you know, the Undertale, just like the, the Undertale world, because I love Deltarune, don't get me wrong, I do, um, but there's something about the original world of Undertale that is just so interesting, and I feel, I, I always felt like more could be done with, with this world, so it, it's just exciting. It's a sign, it says exposition in large friendly letters. Ah. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Flyer's giving fighting a try. Comfort. You're right, something needs to change. Ah, oh, man. Okay, all I gotta do is comfort the flyers and they're, they're instantly merciable. What does this do? Stuck? Press this for a do-over. Or don't. Wow, that, <laughs> that was easy. Man, everybody in chat is just spamming yippee. This isn't really me. What? Man, I gotta get my sea legs back. It's been it's been a while since I've played uh, I've played Undertale or Deltarune, so I really gotta 
Gotta get my act together. A hole in the floor. Private property, no trespassing. Hold on. Gonna take a swig of my, my tea. Try to eat one of my blondies. Hmm. Dude, I love tea so much. Hmm. Somebody told me to check my equips. Got it. Okay, so yeah. Weapon, toy gun, armor, worn hat. Ammo, rubber ammo. Accessory, patch, gold, eight. <laughs> oh, what? I have a boy in my... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, my med bone. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh no. I got a whole blondie in my mouth. The food, not like a human being. Hold on. Ah, oh, man, that was delicious. Okay, here we go. Is salty okay, man? Yeah, no, I just, I had like a whole blondie in my mouth. They're like a brownie, but they're not brown. Anyway. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. Uh, How long has it been? Uh, I was wondering if you'd ever come back. Uh, 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 no. Too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know. I had no choice. I must be this way. Huh? Who? I, I must be seeing things. Here we go. Vanilla? Oh, it's like a pencil monster. Distract. You put yourself in between Penilla and her work. I've been at this for a while. What? Ah, there we go. Spare. I see you're still in one piece. Anyway. <laughs> if you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. I, I'm telling you guys, like, to me at least, One Piece is like the new Among Us. Like, when people say Among Us, it's like, oh, Among Us, but now I'm like, whenever I see the words one and peace in the same sentence, I'm like, oh my god, Luffy real. Luffy real, white beard, ace, real. Ace, washboard abs, real. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand. 5G a glass. Take some? Uh, I have 10 bucks. Pour yourself a glass, but there's no attendant to take your money. What poor service? Leave a tip? How much? A large amount. You leave 5G in the tip jar. Your conscience feels light as a feather. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot. Save points do, like, heal you. Dude, what is- <laughs> what is up with the corn maze? Sweet corn hops up excitedly. Hug. You give sweet corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck in your shirt. I'm feeling the love.
Okay, spare. Okay, this is. Go Whoa, yo, candy corn! It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it? Dude, I don't remember this from when I was. from when I was testing the game. Is this new, or am I- do I just have, like, the worst memory imaginable? I'm asking that like anybody in chat would know, like, Hey, hey, everybody in chat that also tested this game. That also beta tested. Um, uh, what- what are you guys- <laughs> Vanilla. Uh, compliment Vanilla's work. Oh no, I have to distract. I, I already did this. Oh, wow. Ooh, the combo. The combo is really cool. Oh! Distract. I appreciate everybody spamming Yippee uh, in, the, in the comments. Every time I fight this thing, it's just that the entire chat is filled with Yippee! to buy a boat know anyone selling what a weird thing to say to, to someone you've just met also how are we doing on volume chat is, is it too loud I, I can turn it down if need be whoa what is this whoa okay I have to comfort, right? There we go. Yippee! Oh, whoops, almost fought. Almost fought him. Comfort. Let's see if I can- if I can do a no-death run. I really doubt it, but like, imagine? What does this switch even do? Friend, I planted these for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It's always bright in mine. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they are nice. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? Oh, it's the mask guy again. I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. Oh, uh, what is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. I gotta turn it down on my end a little bit. There we go. And we're off. Ooh, cat drawing. Rorim... Rorim encounters you. I get it. It's mirror backwards. Uh, smile. You give a slight smile. Rorim smiles back. Smiles are never out of style! I don't know what that voice was. I. Uh, smiles are never out of style. <laughs> Can't handle the neutron style. You critique your appearance. Roram is very pleased. You look perfect. Is that Hugh Neutron? No, no, it's 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 the it's Jimmy Neutron, but like he's cool. Can't handle the Neutron style. There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a cater? Oh, shut up. <laughs> does, it, does this make it a caterpillar? Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump soon. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. 
I like that Flowey has unique dialogue for every save point so far. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's going to be a constant the entire game, but like, I just, I just think it's neat. And now it's dark. That was a really good transition into a battle sequence. Decibat makes his presence known. Um, talk. Decibat hushes you fur furiously. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. I love that. I love that so much. I was like, why is that highlighted? It's because it's blue attacks. Watch. You watch Decibat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Oh, yep, yep. Now it's the orange ones. Ah, uh, shoot. You shout and jump around trying to scare Decibat away. He isn't pleased. Don't shy away. Hush, hush. Okay, cool fight, cool fight. Really, really cool to introduce the blue and orange attacks, like, early on. Okay. Don't shy away, hush hush. Oh, this is gonna get complicated. Whispers only, please, hush hush. I'm just gonna keep watching him. More quiet, please. Yeah, he seems to really like it, so I'm just gonna keep, you know, shushing. You hear that? No? Good. Oh, the music is getting quieter, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the music kept getting quieter and quieter. Oh, wow. Sweet silence. I like that. I like that effect. Is that is that like the spare effect for like boss monsters? That's that's cool. I like that. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace in an order here. I shall come. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Howdy! You seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice that you're prepared. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Wait, I want to eat my second blondie. Hold on, I'm going to eat my second blondie. Mm. Dude, I love blondies. Blondies just kind of feel like they kind of just feel like wafers. And in like a good way. I have a blondie with some like chocolate chips in it. It's so good. Un memento. I'm just gonna eat this so we're good for the rest of the stream. Also, guys. For the people who are spamming boar whenever I eat food on stream, it's not boar. By definition, boar, I have to be eating another living, breathing thing. A blondie is not a living, breathing, breathing thing. It is just like a little brownie thing.
Sorry, I was eating. I was eating when that happened, so I was just like losing it. Yell. He joined Crispy Scroll and is excited yelling. Wait, do you speak fluent? Wait, wait, do you speak fluent reference? Uh, yo. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Is this Dragon Ball? This feels like a Dragon Ball reference. Crispy scroll. What could that mean? Crispy scroll. That that's got to be like a reference. Crispy scroll. Crispy scroll hit 100%. He has reached super crispy mode 2K. That has to be like a reference to something. <clears throat> People were saying to transform- to use the transform thing again. I'll do it if I run into another one. <clears throat> Crispy scroll? Crunchy roll? Oh my gosh, it's a reference to Crunchy Roll. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. Crispy scroll, scroll, Crunchy Roll. I- I get it, I get it. I'm- wow, okay, I'm really stupid. Can I run into another one of those? Mom? No, I don't want to. I don't want to fight a Rorium. I want to fight a Crispy Scroll. No. Where's the Crispy Scroll? Crispy Scroll, please come back. I want to fight you again. Sweet corn, Lee. Where's Crispy Scroll? Come on. Don't worry, guys. I healed myself. Come on, it's got to show back up again, right? Dang it, it's not showing back up again. Is it a one-time thing? Heal, guys. I healed already. What are you talking about? Where's the crispy scroll? Man, I'm getting everything but the crispy scroll. Come on. I seem to recall what I once saw so often. What I remembered. It seems now forgotten. Is the crispy scroll a one-time thing? That makes me sad. I kind of want to fight it again. So then, never mind, I guess. Ooh. It's a stray feather. Take it. We got a stray feather. Oh, is this a dead end or... No? What's this way? Oh, it's interconnected. <coughs> Before I go there, I want to see what's up here the lag tights. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past them. Oh, hey, it's Desi Bat. He is sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Ah. Uh, um... I don't know who you are, but I ask you, uh, please leave. Where is the crispy scroll? Oh, wait, this was where I was at the beginning of the game. Where's the music? It just, it cuts out during cutscenes sometimes. You can slow down battles with the run button. Hold on, I want to go back. I need to see if I can encounter the crispy scroll again. I, I want to really bad. Because I want to see what the, the transform thing does. 
It's probably nothing, but... You should heal- Guys, I'm at full health. What do you want- What do you want from me? Equip the feather. Ooh. No, yippee! Where is the crispy scroll? Is it a one-time thing? Ah. Uh. You got stick- You stick the feather into your hat. It gives you a proud feeling. Okay, that's what that does. D didn't do anything. What does the patch do? Uh, it's not strong, but it's trustworthy. Oh, the, the accessory is the feather. Come on! Okay, we're, we're gonna do like... We're gonna do like two more encounters, uh, and then if, if I don't get the crispy scroll, then we're just gonna move on. You know what? Screw these developers for making for making these encounters interesting. I hate the developers. The developers worst, the worst. Ow. Okay, I can't flee this. Tried fleeing too many times in a row. Also, you don't slow down the battles with the B button, by the way. Uh, you just slow yourself down. Okay, so then we just distract. Oh! Okay, there we go. Okay, two more encounters and then we're just gonna move on. Okay. One more. One more for the crispy scroll. Okay, this is it. Nope, no crispy scroll. That might have been a one-time thing. Oh, that was a wrong one, I think. It's the comfort option is for the flyers. Okay, well, we tried. <clears throat> well, I guess you'll just have to get the game yourself to fight the Crispy Scroll. Everybody's favorite character, the Crispy Scroll. Hi, Decibat. Oh, Decibat, like deci decibels. Like the measurement of sound. Oh. Okay. S -cris Crispy Scroll is not a one-time encounter. Oh, I'm just really unlucky. Well, guess guess you guys will have to get the game and download the game and try it out, I guess. Oh, I don't I don't know. You're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Treating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? What? I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day, whatever I did to you that day was 
whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Uh, Never mind. Words aren't enough. Uh, uh, I... I don't want to fight anybody, but... You've invaded my home. The exit is blocked, and... I can't stay here. I will not allow it. Uh, only one thing to do... Dalve musters his fighting spirit. Okay. Handshake. Dalve does not notice your offer of goodwill. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for the both of us. Whoa. Who's got thunder ability? Dude, every time he uses the thunder ability, the background, like, reacts. Dalve takes a break to brush off his cloak. Dal does not seem to value communications. Where'd you come from, anyway? There aren't accessible any- There aren't any accessible entrances. Dang it! Oh, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get destroyed. Fuck. All I know is that somehow, you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. I'm, I'm wondering what exactly Dalv is talking about. Is he only saying this because, like, he met another human at one point? Dalv does not seem to value communication. The other monsters, did you pester them as well? Not that I care to keep up with their activity. Oh, whoops. Dang, I'm gonna die. Dal takes a break to brush his cloak. This region of the ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Uh oh. Oh, this is rough. Oh, this is rough. Oh. Uh, lemonade. Lemonade. It's very sour. But it seems you, uh, but it seems as if you never got the memo. That or you're purposely ignoring my wishes. Dang, this music does go hard though. Val seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Val does not seem to value communication. What's with the sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Okay. I know you aren't a phantom, but... Could it be that... No, it, it isn't possible. Oh. Oh. God, this is... Require some quick reactions to these. You look so helpless, different, but is it a front? No, you aren't trying to hurt me. You, you aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How can I be so foolish? I apologize, I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how I can make things right now. Handshake. Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me? I want you. You want me to shake your hand? <laughs> Even after I wrongfully attacked you? But that is... A sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't ever expect to meet another human. Okay, so he did meet a human once before. Let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong. 
I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I, I think. Uh, I don't really remember what that entails. Uh, I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Yeah, okay. That That is the spare animation for bosses. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That I, that was not uh in the beta that I tested, I don't think. I feel like I would remember that. Oh, what do friends do, actually? Do you want to, um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have the time. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. <laughs> uh, I have to, um, fix something in the other room. Uh, sit down. Uh, get comfortable. Take your shoes off. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. Dude, how dirty does your house get? Alright, uh, I know you're probably eager to get going. But feel free to stay as long as you like. Small table for one sits in the corner. Can't help but notice that it's fine craftsmanship. Uh, I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh, wait! I, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I, I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it? Yeah. You got the sponge cake. Hmm. Slowing down with the run button could be really useful sometimes. It's better than tapping a direction multiple times at the risk of moving five pixels too many. Yeah, I, I noticed that when I was when I was fighting Dalv, I hold down the I held down the run button in battle and it made me go slower. And that actually helped me with the precision, so that's that's good. Sorry I didn't invite you, it was last week. Oh, you can come next year. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Uh, hey, uh, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes the dark. Wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. You like those? Uh, those are my projects. Uh, I sometimes try to write books, uh, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colored pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what color things are outside of this place. So I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. It might not be as educational though. Dalv's a cutie. He's a, he's a little cutie patootie. He's trying his best. It's a flower pot full of dirt. Oh, that's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time. But don't rush him. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Are you ready to leave? Uh, no. Is there a section over here? Ooh, there is. Dude, what is up with this dude in corn? Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from- ONE PIECE! ONE PIECE! ONE PIECE! ONE- ONE PIECE! Started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just... there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but... Somehow, I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but... I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day, they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted last... But I planted the last cob of corn I had down here. It's taken forever to... It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Oh, that's the broom. Uh, be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. <laughs> I never thought I'd be re I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. 
Uh, let's look at something else, okay? Okay, he really doesn't want me to go in there. But I want to go in there. Are you ready to leave? Oh, you know what? If you do a genocide route, I feel like you might be able to go in Dal's room because he won't be in the house, right? Like, he won't be in the house to stop you? If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. Well, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You've really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up. But I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to f let my talent show. I can publish my novel, have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately okay. So much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, uh, it seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me? Yep, there it is. There's the confirmation. It's Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. I'll see you later, friend. And that's it. We can't go back and check out his room. So yeah, I'm assuming that the genocide route, you can go into his room because he's not there. Or at least he won't be there. If there is a genocide route, I, I don't know. And here we go. All right. The original text of the sign was crossed out. Now it reads, Entry Forbidden with Blue Crayon. Dang. I also noticed that uh, Clover's, Clover's pixel outline is not black anymore. It's, it's like a light blue to accent the colors of the area. That's a cool addition. I like that. Yeah, what, what if instead of you are filled with determination, the save points are just like you are filled with corn? Howdy! Congratulations on getting rid of those... Congratulations on being rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get out of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. Now... Let's get moving before my pedals freeze. Hop to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't Bud. It's, uh, Gun Pat? <laughs> I'm so... It's Clover, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It is? Well, Gun Hat, enough talk. See ya. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you'll even need a save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. I wonder if for the rest of the game he's gonna call me Gun Hat. Gun Hat. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it. There's just some dirt in the snow. You wipe it off your hand on a suspicious carving in the rock face. I'm, I'm trying to inspect the carving, not the dirt. I'm digging the music in this game, by the way, which is not shocking knowing who worked on the music for this game. Ooh. 
feel heat coming from the pile of stones. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? No, well, I don't have one. It's a big and imposing rock. It seems to be perfect block perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing it looks impossible for the time being. Yeah, I was gonna say this. There's like a hole behind there. We need to get a map for those people. There's an igloo here. Froster, okay. I was like, I was like, yeah, that that sure is an igloo. Do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. Oh, it's cute. Uh, hi. Can I join? Oh, I love these. I love these snowflake designs. Whoa. Dance. You start doing a crab walk dance. Froster mentors jumps in. Can you come dance with me more often? Hold on. My chair, my chair got stuck in a wire. I don't even know how that happened. Ah, there we go. Okay. You just got to dance with Frostermit. Whoops. Is an igloo here? Can I just run away? No, I can't. I'm sorry. It it says igloo igloo. Dance. Whoa, what is happening? Why are you trying to pinch me, man? This is messed up. We started doing a crab walk dance. Frostman joins in. Next time, I'll leave. Oh no, it's stacking blocks. Whoops, I meant to spare, but whatever. There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. Ooh. Ooh, it's a storage box. Okay, I don't need that right now. A stupid box, you can put items in it, and they'll stay there. Let's just take it out, that is, then it's not there. And then there are some more of these boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff you put in this box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a, a box hater. Dang! The developers really put their whole develop pussy into this game. The map salty? What do you mean the map? I don't have a map yet. There's a map behind one of the rock guys? Is there? What do you mean? Why would it be behind them? Do I have to- okay, I'll go back. People are saying that there was a map that I missed. The map. The big and imposing rock. Uh, waterfall, it should be a breathtaking romantic, if we ever find it, that is. You guys said that it was behind them, no it's not. Are people- are people just, like, gaslighting me? Also, wait, did that say- Hold on. Did that say I've been playing this game for 55 hours? <laughs> no, I have not! I have not been playing this game for 55- Oh, I'm hoping that's 55 minutes. I think- I think it is 55 minutes. I'm like, I was not playing this game that long. 
No, there. I haven't seen the map yet. What are you? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, that's her ears. Well, okay. I'm. I'm just not looking at chat. You guys are just completely throwing me off in the wrong direction. Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check. Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. Do 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 do. New character though. To whom it may concern, in accordance with the Royal Guard Guidebook, uh, Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear as to what they mean by that, but just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice in the ice cube. Make sure that the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking it, though. Signed, Marley. Is that Martlet or Marley? Marley. I'm, I'm just going to say Marley. Marley of the Underground uh, Royal Guard. P.S. If one of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little bit. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but, you know, it has... But you know how it is with DIY projects. Anyways... Always something has to go wrong. Okay. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS. <laughs> I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not every everyone can fly or is freakishly tall. Especially if you're human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. <laughs> I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and hope it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> PPPS. Oh, wait. PPPPS. I have been informed that the amount of PSs on this sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble they have caused. Okay, there we go. Do we just have to keep doing this? Interesting puzzle you got there, Marley. Whew. I'm unstoppable. Hey, you. Can you help me off the pole? I've been here for two days now. Three bugs came up and bound me to lick it. Due to the poor weather, I'm now fuck. My mom told me to be back in time for lunch too. Please help. I don't have anything. I don't have anything to help. I don't have anything to help this poor dude. Maybe there's like an item I can get and come back. How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would really be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. People are saying give him the patch. I don't think that the patch is going to help. Maybe the one coffee will feel like poor Pong. Okay, I just got to get coffee. I'm glad that he directly told me what I needed to do because I would not have known. It's a snow castle. How cute. Insomnitot staggers forward. You swing, you swing Insomnitot's tassel in front of its own face. I'm getting sleepy. 
actually got myself like actually tired doing that. Uh -huh. No, that's not working. Maybe I have to sing? Sing. I like that song. Oh, there we go. Ooh! Poppy! I think. What's this? A new customer! Who am I? Nobody a know, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham, I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug will only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Liquids? So last season. Salads? Pa! Season before! You want the new f You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing! Salads that used to be liquids! And, you know, I uh, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks! I have invented the next big thing here! For the incredibly low, low price of 15 gold, you can have your very own hot chocolate pot! I was once a boring old hot chocolate. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No, I no, thank you. I need the actual hot chocolate. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Lukewarm pop, hot pop. I need a hot pop. Enjoy the pop, buddy. Okay, thanks. Also, I really like the Genesis styled music in that. Maybe someone caught me between my both tongue. Okay, that didn't work. That sucks. I walk past this guy? I can't, I can just walk past him. Couldn't stay away? Well, BAM! Take your pick. Here's what I got. I guess I'll buy all of them. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Much as I'd love to keep selling pops, I'm all out. Until next time. Mo out. Okay, so, uh, we didn't go down here. Seems like there's something past Mo, but I don't want to- WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What are you? I read something in a book once. It said, if life comes at you too fast, press B and take it slow. Whatever that means. Okay, he just says it. Oh, he, he, oh, he says different things. That was plain obvious. Wanna know another excerpt from that book? It said, please stop talking to me. I've exhausted my book quotes. A very wise book indeed. Please leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take the ice pellets? Wait! Ice pellets. Ice ammo. Weapon, it's sick. Ooh, ooh, I can put them in my gun? I can put them in my gun. Your gun is now cold to the touch. Not gonna be really using it, but you know. Ice gun. This is my favorite character design in the entire game so far. Wh whoever designed this, you're hilarious. 
You're a hilarious individual. Oh, there's a notice here. Dear owners of Dilapidated Cabin. First, I'm very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook in Section 42, Paragraph 1, so long as a notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but, you know, notice. I just, I just want to save real quick. Uh, and then sing. Ugh. I need to, I need to hypnotize and then sing. I think. Hypnotize? Dang! Dude has hands! Uh, then sing. There we go. So you hypnotize, then sing. No, no cone comes to see if you are made of fire. You aren't. Uh, encourage? You encourage the no cone to follow his dreams. No cone wants see fire. A no cone pursue fire dream. It's like a snow cone, but he knows things. Uh, educate. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot melt no cone. No cone not know this. You good friend to no cone. Okay. Uh, hmm. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. You open the drawbridge. <laughs> Your head hurts too much to keep going. Snow castles. Oh, snow castles, plural. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, it's Ice Wolf Guy. Humph, 238. Oh, 239. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. Is there anything else over here at all? Man, where are we going to get this, this hot coffee? Oh boy! Oh gee, a new customer! I'm nervous! I'm a male whale from the Underground Postal Service! Haven't heard of us? We're the best! For short, just call us UGPS! So, I hear you're new to the Underground. How you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great, and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter! Receive mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this, and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give a shout. We assure you, they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing, all using mail from your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now, I must be off. The mail mustn't be late. See you later in your own journey, mate. Wait, let me... Can I... Oh, mail. There we go. Intro letter. Read. Come, new friend, right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again at the UGPS. I feel like a part of that didn't rhyme, but you know, I'll, I'll give it a... <laughs> I might've read, read that wrong. 
Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. Really can't go with that two seconds without getting stopped for harassment around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Asgore, I don't see why we need him. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a wasting. I'm just wondering why Flowey's being so chill. We're getting pretty f oh I was about to say we're getting pretty far without uh without any hot chocolate, but this is looking promising. Hey, why shit? <laughs> oh, 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 would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig toast, come over here. Bro, come on. <laughs> yeah, boss. Yo, oh, what's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Oh, you ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, and <laughs> not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, the name's Rick <laughs> Refill. <laughs> I'm the boss of the world renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're going to have to get through us. I genuinely do not remember any of this from the beta that I tested. I feel like this is all new stuff. Like, I just, I don't remember this at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. You attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We'd like to we would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. It's gonna be ball in a it's ball in a cup. <laughs> we'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. And when we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. <laughs> we'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose. We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? Uh, yes. That makes things easy then. Here we go. I was hoping that they would stay facing. Okay. Okay. Middle. Easy. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. Yeah, the one on the right. The one on the right. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Oh, this this is this one's gonna suck. Oh, I already lost it. I already lost it. I already lost it. <laughs> well, ain't that a pity? Why don't you take a while and come back when you're ready to try again? Take some time to practice yourself when you can. Maybe then you'll be a bit more of a challenge. Till then, we ain't moving, right boys? Oh yeah, boss, we'll stay right here. Yeah, we ain't got nowhere to go. I want to do it again, please. Think you can pass this time? Let's find out. Okay, I got it this time. One on the left. Middle. Nice side, kid. Keep it up. Middle. Um, left. Got it. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Okay, I'm going to wait for chat to catch up so that I know. Okay, I think it's left, but chat, please tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, left? People are saying that it's left. I think it's left too. Yes! All right. Boss, I, I think the little punk beat us. Uh, that must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a gas of spoiled milk like you could beat us. 
Now, now, Toast, let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid who beat us fair and... The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing but if true to their own word. Ain't that right? Oh, yeah, boss. A shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, I'll have to let you pass through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. And we'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend, right, boys? Oh, yeah, you've got a problem? We can handle it. <laughs> yeah, handle. Okay, cool. Honeydew Resort. Ooh, also, this is a good time to say, uh, if anybody, uh, donations are off for the stream, but if you want to support anyone, I have a GoFundMe in the description for a friend of mine whose uh, dad had a stroke, uh, and they are trying to raise money because they're moving from state to state, uh, and, you know, because of the stroke, they're really low on funds. So if you have any money that you want to throw their way, go for it. If not, that's okay. Just figured I'd mention that because I don't think I did that this stream. Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. Now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. At least, that would, that's what keeps things interesting. Whatever, I can't read. There's a sock. There's a sock on this. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for about two weeks, hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. It's pretty great. Hey, uh, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. Something I gotta commend this game for is that, so far, at least so far, it, it's not, it's not trying to, uh, it's, obviously it's an Undertale prequel, but it's not relying solely on, like, cameos of established characters or anything. Uh, besides, like, Flowey. Flowey's kind of been, like, important so far. But it seems like, for the most part, they're really trying to, like, build up, like, a, a new main cast of characters to, like, follow and, like, you know, engage with. Which I think is very cool. Uh, family owned and operated. All travelers welcome. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. That's Marley. I... What is, what is this? Oh, the, the mouth is up there. I was not expecting that. I thought the mouth was... Never mind. Royal guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes. Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now, you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't tell you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. I'm going back because I just realized I was at a resort and I could probably order hot chocolate. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're, they're getting pretty cold. Oh dang, there's a whole place in here. Uh, you know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stress, but you know why that is. I have a theory, see? Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and... and imminent starvation and so on those are the important back home but here why does he keep using a colon still important monsters pretend they're not the they're not though and you know what that is despicable or Ir irresponsible shameful behavior 
You know how much... You know how much part I'll have in it? None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. And that's... <laughs> that's how much you should have, too. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. <laughs> I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all about the aliases they used to have in hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. I'm now I'm content to sit and listen. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Right on, dude. This is a chilly song you can curl up to the fireplace to. I can already tell, um, that this character is a self-insert of Master Sword. And I think it's really cute. I- I don't know- I'm- I don't know if Master Sword is the only, like, composer or music person for the game, but... Definitely makes some bangers. Here for another tune, my dude? That's good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that like a little time to themselves. Hey, kid. The getup. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place, that is. I'm probably the only other one here who's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you? What's a kid like you doing hanging around with those wild guys anyway, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Ooh! Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. Was that the line? Uh. Oh, coffee. And I have enough money for it. Okay. I think that's all I need. There's a door here. Oh, it just lets you out the back. Cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum. Did I miss anything? No, oh, that was it. This way to the hot spring. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is, warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. Oh, I get it. Left me. Ha! <laughs> Whoa! There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. What is that? What did I just open? Hello! Are you enjoying the warped atmosphere that can only be brought on by a torch? Isn't it pleasant? Isn't it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. Oh, it's literally a monster. I want to get in. The water is blocked by stairs. I want to get in. This is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I wanted to come here for forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is a complete bliss. Man, look at that sprite work on the, the like, mountains over there. Wow. This goes crazy. Swimming is a great full-body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. I think that's that's all for here. Somebody was saying that was a JoJo reference. Is that the dog from part one? What do you mean? That didn't look like the that didn't look like Danny. What are you talking about? What was the JoJo reference? Did I miss that? I can't I can't have missed a JoJo reference, did I?
heading back to give the guys coffee. The furnace? Oh. You guys are making a joke about how Danny b got burned alive in a furnace. That is so cool. <laughs> But wait, was- Okay, I'm gonna go back to the furnace. I'm gonna go back to the furnace and- and check that again. Because unless- unless you guys are just making it up because it's like, oh, Danny got thrown in a furnace. Hey, what are you doing? That thing is steaming. I need something hot, but not that hot. What? Oh my god. What do you mean? What do you mean hot but not that hot? Uh, to drink something this hot. Do I have to wait? Uh, hypnotize. And Oof The lukewarm water? Oh my god <laughs> Give me a minute I didn't know that there was like a difference. Hold on a sec. First I want to look at I want to look at this furnace again. I can't tell if people are messing with me or not. Do you know this job has a high turnover rate? Crazy, right? Apparently, most monsters don't like having their head lit on fire. But, you see my head? That's a natural flame, baby. Best job ever. I love being a torch. Yeah, I feel like you guys were joking with me that there was a JoJo reference. I would have known. I would have noticed it. There's no way I would miss an actual JoJo reference. I'm hoping that I have enough money. Dang, there's no lukewarm water. Go back to the door in the hotel resort thing and go forward. Let me try it. What? What is this? Quaint! Several micro- several micro- micro froggets are enjoying themselves their very own hot spring. One of them even brought micro floaties. Another sips his own micro coffee then waves at you. Looks like the Honeybee Resort isn't- uh, uh, Resort thought of everyone. What is this? Beautiful delicious looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it. Not enough spit. Dang it! Um... Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the patch. Change the golden coffee. Halves the weight of your soul, giving you a speed boost for three turns. Half delicious beverage, half transition metal. Just smells like coffee, though. Okay, this has to be... This has to be... The thing that we need. This has to be it. <laughs> Salty, come to Brazil. Yeah, sure, I'm on my way. Um, let's see. 
Okay, this has to be it. No cone. Fire is bad. Nice. Okay, here we go. Maybe some more probably will see my tongue. Are you? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I- I've given you- I've given you every coffee that I've run into! What are you talking about? Hey, what are you crazy? It's a demon! I need something to have a that- Oh my god. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want me to give you? Th okay. Is golden not warm? I just- What? I thought that was it! Eh, I can probably sell that, actually. At this point, I'm tempted to let that man freeze. Dang. I should honestly use this opportunity to grind out money, at least. This guy deserves his tongue to be stuck on this pole. There, there's just nothing I can do for this man. Ah, shoot. I meant to click spare. That dude is not grateful for anything I give it, I give him. Lukewarm. Hot pop, cold pop, lukewarm pop. Okay, hold on. I'm going back. I'm going. I will try everything on my inventory so that chat calms down. No cone, educate. Oh. Igloo, igloo. Uh, dance. Okay, let's try this. First, I'm gonna save. And then... Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Hypnotize. Uh, sing. Hypnotize. Sing. Spare. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try everything in my inventory. Yeah, you see, people kept telling me the lukewarm pop might work. Try everything again. Okay, didn't work. Nothing worked. <laughs> I I feel like this is this is a bait. This is like bait. Because I'm gonna get halfway through the game, get like like lukewarm coffee. I'm gonna get halfway through the game, get lukewarm coffee, and then have to go all the way back. There's an NPC that mixes items. Okay. Oof.
Okay, whoops. I didn't mean to click flee. I keep forgetting that the cursor starts on flee for some reason. Let's save. gonna do a genocide run after pacifist i don't know yet it depends on how i'm feeling and i also don't know how long it's gonna take to complete this game because i don't know how long it is here we go we are going onward oh hey pillow i assume if you fall you land on the pillow Bridge slippery during snowfall. No running. Okay. Oh. There we go. One time. Only needed one one try. Ten steps to the east. Second sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not ten steps. It's not ten steps. Game uh, four, four out of ten. Try Hector wobbles forward. Wait, the cough? What? What are you guys talking about? Ice cubes from Ice Wolf? Okay, hold on. Uh, push. Chat, you're gonna have to be more. You're gonna have to type out more than go back to convince me to go back. What am I missing? Everyone okay? I'm sorry, I'm just now realizing the one on the left. Does the one on the left have like boobs? The other the other two It looks like the one on the left <laughs> has boobs. <laughs> Just a, such a weird specific detail. The one on the left has boobs. Get ice cubes from the. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll go back. I'll go back one last time, guys. One last time. One last time. Okay, ice cube guy. You, okay, chat, you gotta be lying to me. I, I, ice wolf doesn't do anything. Bro keeps looking at the wrong people. Chat, stop making shit up challenge. Yeah, chat, come on. Okay, I'm gonna not look at chat for like a couple minutes. It's just not working. It. There's an NPC later who turns the patch into warm coffee, so hold on to that. Um, I threw away the patch so that I could get the the golden coffee. Um, I was I was supposed to. Ooh. I dropped the patch. Yeah, I... Whoopsies! A hey, note to self, stop throwing away shit. Okay, well that, that guy, we're never gonna be able to help that guy now. We're just gonna have to put up with that. Wait, what did that say? 10 steps to the east third side. Patch doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know... There's probably context for it, but I don't... I don't get why the patch would allow you to get the coffee that you need. You know? And I'm not... And I can't reset the game. I'm not gonna reset the game for just to get the patch. Maybe I'll do it off-stream, where I can get the patch. I'm so silly. D 
Dakota, were you gaslighting? Is the patch not needed? Did you not? Did because you've been around. I'm pretty sure you saw me. Wait, what did what did I have? I'll just take it. What is it? Uh, deck inside. Coffee beans. No. Hold on. I need to. Uh, rubber ammo. I just don't think that they would design the game where, like, I would need an item that I could just throw away. Uh, rubber ammo. I'll just leave the beans in there for now. Oh, it's one of these things again. Whoops. Dang it. I'll go back and get the coffee beans in a second because I have a feeling like they're gonna be useful. Just right. Let's go. Yeah, I got. I gotta stop looking at chat and trusting people. Okay. Um. Items. Which of these should I get rid of? Uh, I'm just gonna quickly eat the candy corn and take the coffee bean. Oh, coffee bean ammo. Your gun now smells delightful. How much was the ice pellets? Weapon at six. Oh, okay. No, I the the ice pellets are better. I'll start storing stuff in the box. Sponge cake. Ramo. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that the guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Okay, save. We've officially been at this for like two hours now. Oh, hey, there they are. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems as I have a, it seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. Don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it! I knew I'd find a human! You must be a human, right, right? You look just like this guy in this poster I saw once! We had a... He had a hat, just like you, and he was totally human, so, like... Transitive property or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Uh, are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Marley of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be, cur be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Marley of the Royal Guard is waiting for your, your turn. Uh, rush. 
Tap your wrist impatiently. Marley looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Ignore. Ignore Marley's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Uh, I... Hold on. I have a guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just... Uh... Take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week, I apprehended this girl. A total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Ignore... Aha! Royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Uh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2, my attack! Ooh, whoop! Cool attack, though. Well, he's blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. Probably isn't. You ignore Marley's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet! Well, these attacks are cool. She's throwing everything at me, including the kitchen sink. hey -ya! This is actually a little bit easier than Dalve, I think. Take this, intruder! Oop, it's getting slightly less easy. Also, did I hear... Did I hear them sample, uh... Sample the vocal... The vocal MIDI from, like, uh... Ocarina of Time? When you go to Marin's, uh, like, ranch or whatever? I'm pretty sure I heard that. You ignore Marley's rambling. Phew! This is a real workout. Keep it up, Marley. Hey, this, this part's kind of easy. Oh! Oh, okay! This is a little bit more difficult. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. Uh, I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn. I'm going to check that handbook again. Rusher so it ends faster. Is that what that does? Rush. Tap on your wrist impatiently. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive like... What are you on about? I'm not a human! Clear the feathers out of your head! Would you mind being aggressive like her? Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Insult? You call Marley a weenie. <laughs> oh, that was adorable! I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. You are making this easy here. Here I go. Protocol and all that for the Royal Guard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is... Okay, okay, this is a lot harder. Well, at least initially. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of it. <laughs> here, I'm going to turn down the music just a little bit. Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Oh, I'm going to have to heal, actually. Give it another try. I believe in you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Marley. Give it another try. I believe in you. That's more like it. What kind of a royal guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> oh, right. It's my turn. I 
I like how the sound effects kind of like vary each time. An insult. You insult Marley's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to Royal Guarddom. I just noticed uh, my cursor came on screen. Give me a second. There we go. And all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my Royal Guard discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. Did you just spare me? She spared me. She spared me that time. Sorry, just drinking some tea. If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but sure, a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he could say no to a cute little vase like yours. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Guys, insurance is confirmed to exist in the Undertale universe. Confirmed. Hey there, so, uh, here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So, I've been saving this up for a rainy day. You know, figuratively. We don't really have those. Either way, behold, a the UG Aviator. In the water sits an old-looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? I have a feeling like if I get in that boat, I'm not going to be able to go back. And that's... That's going to be rough. If my map and memory serve, this river should lead directly to Hotland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all. Well, will you trust me on this? Uh, yes. Yay! Don't worry. Your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, while I've been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all of my life's work and belongings, but hey, what's life without a little risk? So, shall we be off then? Uh, no, not yet. You have something to do? Okay, take all the time in the world. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, uh, don't take, like, all the time in the world. Uh, we want to have time left for the journey, you know? Okay, hold on, before we leave... There's a notebook on the counter titled My Puzzle Bl Blueprints. This must be, must be where Marley uh, sketches her puzzle ideas. How a note is nail nailed to the kiosk that says, Hello traveler, due to infrequent breaks, I am prone to snoozing on the job. If you're reading this and I'm asleep, please don't just walk past this checkpoint. This would dock my pay for sure. Ring the bell to wake me up instead. Thank you, Marley. I can ring the bell. Okay, so I must have, th there's a guy by the exit who gives you the coffee. He gives you a mitten, I think, and then you give that mitten to the kid by the hot springs. She gives you the map, then talk to the, the Taurus. Thank you, Reddit.
There's a guy by the exit. Okay, did I miss somebody? Did I miss something? Sorry, Flowey. I yeah, we can ditch her. Yeah. So Flowey wants me to ditch Marley, which I don't want to do. You notice a fresh pancake lying under the bench. Take it. Yes. A wooden bench. A wooden bench. Okay. So. Hold on. I'm gonna pin this message so I don't. So I don't lose it. While I figure this out. There's a guy near the exit. Okay, we gotta talk to everybody. Oh, hello. Uh huh. No, I don't know where the pudding pudding is. Okay, well that's a new that's a new guy. Wait, do I talk to him again? Maybe. I I'm up. Uh, yeah, I'm up. Is is there school today? Am I late? Did I miss it? What time is it? Well, I'm never gonna be able to fall back to sleep now. I was having this great dream about Clementine pudding. It was delicious, and now I'll uh, never be never be able to go back to. Oh, do I have to get pudding? I think that was the thing I could buy, right? Not him, the red sweater guy. Red sweater guy. This is this doesn't seem like a guy. Where am I? Well, the good news is it seems like I'm not being attacked by monsters anymore. It's colder than anything than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some coffee. Okay, not that red sweater guy. Hold on. Can I buy pudding? Okay, there's no pudding here. Uh, talk. Royal Guard. You don't know what the Royal Guard is? Well, they're the peacekeepers of the underground. They set up all stations around and keep watch for wrongdoers. Typically, they handle small stuff. Schemers and scammers, you know? But then again, there are big jobs. Jobs that don't come around very often. I don't think you've learned about that particular subject in school yet by the looks of you. You gotta be really mature before uh, that enters the curriculum. Like a high schooler. So sorry, I wouldn't want that to spoil your homework. Uh, the, the, oh, talk to him again? The, this guy? No, that's not the guy. Gotta try the pancakes here. Oh wait, this thing. Oh no, that's a sock. That's a sock. That <laughs> I'm brain dead. You don't have coffee in the inventory. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, chat. Take out a cup of coffee. For me? How can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It was probably out there for ages. Got the soggy mitten. There we go. Now we're making progress. That's what we like to hear. Finally. Okay, mitten. Take this. That's my missing mitten. Just in time, too. My left hand is getting jealous. I just can't live without that much civil unrest. I should really pay you back, but I don't think I should I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know take this. It's a map of Snowden Okay Now we go all the way back and give it to the couple Hey shufflers bye shufflers Chat redemption arc guys it's happening and plus there's no monsters attacking me anymore because I think I reached the end of the area Oh, hey guys I'm so relieved now. Everyone's on the ground safe. Where are you going to next? Anywhere exciting? Can I come? I wonder if only children have to deal with this. Monsters climbing all over your head, I mean. All 
All right. Gotta say, game is fun. I am having a good time. I'll come back for you, guy. I can't believe that uh, that live chat was uh, actually helpful. This is so rare. This never happens. Oh, hey, it's the crab guy. Pinch, pinch. Just kidding. I'm so glad the Royal Guard protects our home. Well, not my home, really. My home is on my back, and I have to protect it at all costs. Or it protects me. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. All right. Here we go. Couple. Check out the map. A map? Splendid! Did you make this just for us? I wish I had something to, as heartfelt to give you in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. We won't need one anymore. Our love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Okay. Um, where? And it seems like this also is important, but I don't, I can't do anything with it right now. So matches, who needs matches? Wait, did you call me Clover? I'm Gun Hat. I'm Gun Hat, dude. I'm not Clover. What are you talking about? Raw melt the ice. Matches. Info. A bundle of dump damp matches. Looks like there are just enough dry ones to start a nice fire. Okay. Um the first guy? Uh Ghostport advice read, please. Ghostport come back. Okay, Ghostport said in chat, there's a guy by the exit who will give you the coffee, gives you the mitten, uh, I think, then you give that mitten to the kid in the hot springs, then she gives you the map, then talk to the tourists, and that was it. The very first guy. We have to go all the way back here? Did I, like, miss somebody? I doubt that there's anything back here, but I might as well. Yeah, okay. Part two, they give you the matches, then you go back to the first guy, give him the matches, and he gives you a slightly cooler coffee, which you can unstick the bear with. Okay, hold on. So I go back to the guy with the red sweater. Undertale Yellow developer is having a hoot and a, a, hoot and a holler right now. <laughs> this this quest is so jank and weird. Thank you, Ghostport. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna unpin Ghostport's message now. Unpin. Yo, Ghostport, thank you so much uh, for the actual assistance. Yeah, this quest line is, <laughs> it's very, it's very specific. Like, it, it's one of those things that I couldn't figure out without a guide. Or at least, like, talking to everybody several times, which, you know, it's an RPG. And you kind of have to do that. Coffee's a little hot. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm not crazy, you know. In the meantime, I'll get making a campfire. There we go. Yes. I don't really have anything else. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? All I had to do was give this guy my coffee and then come back to get the coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Ghostport. I'm happy to help. Ghostport, for being so helpful, I'm going to mod you right now. You deserve this. You deserve this for genuinely helping. You're a moderator now. Uh... Is yeah, standard moderator, uh, yeah, yes, you're a mod now. You're a mod now, Ghostport. Congrats, thank you. You have become mod. Okay. 
You see, chat, this is what happens. This is what happens when you're genuinely helpful. I, I mod you, I mod you in my chat. That's, that's how it works. Okay, here we go, here we go. This, this is what we've all been waiting for. Th this quest line has been never ending. You pour the warm coffee onto the pole, the ice starts to melt. At last, I'm liberated! I cannot thank you enough. You're a wonderful Samaritan. Here, a token of my gratitude. You got a silver scarf. Knitted by my auntie with abundant passion. May it warm your skin and your soul, good fellow. Now I must get home post haste. Mother is bound to be perturbed already. Farewell. Wait, do you... <laughs> He just walks through the woods? Okay, let's see. Silver scarf. Uh, armor defense six. A glistening scarf. It restores two HP after every turn. Yo! Okay. All right. I did all of that for a scarf, yes. But it's a really good scarf. It's a very good scarf. Wait, is he a bunny? Yeah, no, he, he was a bunny this whole time. Did you not pick up on that? But yeah, no, like, uh, not only is this scarf, like, good defense-wise, but it also heals my HP. Like, let's go. This is definitely going to be worth it, especially as we keep going through the game. Do 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 do. Walking all the way back. You can't get that in genocide. I assume that you can't get that in genocide. Oh wait, gotta. Just wanted to ding it. All right, I'm back. I'm ready. Let's be off. Wait, hold on! I was supposed to be on Ava with you! I was gonna say you can fly, you can just fly over. So, hi. So, I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as, like, sailing? Pretty smooth ride, yeah. My woodwork my woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. Older fellow by the name of Chujin taught me everything. He uh well, never mind. Ooh, a little bit of lore, a little bit of backstory. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Yes. Great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Well, is three the best? I'll say three. Wait, really? I got a three. I've never gotten a three before. Oh my godly goodness. I can't believe it. I got a three. I have to tell absolutely everyone! Okay, okay, sorry, I got carried away. Let's keep going. Question 2. On a scale from 1 to 2, how would you rate... The puzzles deployed in Snowden? Uh... I'll be honest, I'll say 1. Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna, like, complain about that or something. They don't really, um, acknowledge my requests for materials anymore. I wanted the molten rocks to be way bigger. It's a shame. How am I supposed to make a quality puzzle without materials? I mean, the concepts were good at least, right? You know what? Let's just move on. Question 3. On a scale of 1 to 4, how would you rate the auditory ambi- ambi- What does that mean? 
Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a 2 there, and a 3, and a 2.5 there, and a 23, and we're done! Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it goes. Oh, uh, it's Clover. What a unique name! I love it! So, Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you, sails like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view, and not a single leak. Uh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. We can just sit back and relax and, hey, to hear an abnormal amount of running water. Uh, well, we are in Waterfall. Is it just me or is the river getting kind of faster? Well, if anything, help. Uh-oh. Um, I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. I like how Clover is <laughs> just deadpan. Wait, we have to dock here, slow down. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Clover don't care. Hello, Clover, are you okay? Oh no, oh no, oh no. You stay right there. Uh, I'll go get help. Clover don't care. Clover, Clover don't care. No, no bit. Clover don't care. No bit. Well, there goes the Ava. Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's got to be another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough it out for now, and we'll see where the new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Thank you, Flowey. This cave is a little claustrophobic for my taste. Get out of here and see what we're really dealing with. Okay, there's a minecart. I have no idea how this game would be. Some hefty boxes lie in the dirt. They have been here for a long time. Northern caverns up ahead. Okay, new area. Aha! Here we are. Okay. I, I remember this area from when, when I beta tested the game. This 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 area rocks. The music is, is amazing. Also, we good on the music by the way, like auto uh, audio good. Dune Bud popped out of the sand. Oh shoot, look, the background's yellow to match the environment. Wow. Uh... Yeah, Western biome. Pat. You give the dune bud a few loving pats, they nuzzle your hand. Hey, <laughs> hey. Whoa. Oh, it's a sand ga- Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I thought that was it. Oh, that was good. That was a good fight. How do I get down there? Oh, by uh, the ladder. Okay, that's just a normal, uh, normal box. I freaking love the sprites in this game. Yeah, the team did a really good job. Like again, this is mostly stuff that I, I, I. 
This is mostly some stuff that I played in the beta like a couple years back. Um, but I can already tell they added like a, a bunch of new stuff, like tweaks and animations and stuff. It's really impressive, like the just everything that they were able to do with this. And we're only like pretty early into the game, all things considered. At least I think we are, like it still feels pretty early. Like, I'm gonna be honest, even if, even if this was like, we, even if we were already in like mid-game, like in the middle of the story at this point instead of early, I still think that it would have been great. Like the fact that there's even more to discover in this is like, I'm so excited. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Cause you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Uh, where's my mail at? Ooh, Mo letter. If you're reading this, it means you have the pleasure. It means you had the pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not gonna believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. Yeah, you know, I know what you're saying. I would gladly pay full price for your products, and I appreciate that, I really do. But this ain't no time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where's my stand? I don't even know myself. <laughs> Should probably go and find that. Good luck! Okay. And then slurpy letter? Greetings, my savior and fond acquaintance. I would like to extend further gratitude for your assistance. If it weren't for you, my pep Papale would be surely permanently attached to that pole. Oh, it's the pole guy. Thanks to you, I made it my... Thanks to you, I made it in home in... Thanks... <laughs> I can't read, my bad. Thanks to you, I made it home in time for supper. I must say, Mother really outdid herself for this time. The food was exquisite. Many thanks. Sincerely yours, Slurpee. The rewards of our efforts. A jiggle. Uh oh. Ooh, this is a hard one. I'm hoping that that was enough. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm cracked. I'm absolutely cracked. Do I have to jiggle and then pat? Maybe? I'm cracked. I'm crazy, dude. I'm crazy. I'm literally... I'm, I'm the coolest at this game. Uh, jiggle. Okay, this time I won't get hit by the arrows. Whoops! I checked it on accident. Butterfingers. Okay, pat. There we go. Alert! Warning sign ahead. Warning! Danger sign ahead! Danger! Sandstorm ahead! Take cover! There's the cover. Uh-oh. It's gonna blow me all the way back, isn't it? There we go, okay. Here we go. Is that a painting of a dog? Doggy. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Note to self, don't interact with that page. I, they, they, okay. People who worked on this are absolute cornballs. Wait, hold on. 
Somebody, somebody in chat just said they just beat this and saw me in the credits. Did they actually put me in the credits? Dude, oh my gosh, what? I'm very ex what? I didn't, I, I didn't expect that shit at all. Why did they do that? I mean, I tested, but I, I don't know. I didn't do much. I mean, this is super nice. What? I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There's no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, okay? This is my TNT, okay? I didn't steal it from my brother at the mines, okay? I was... This X was here before I arrived, okay? Oh. Yeah, oh my gosh, they put me in the credits? I don't even think that they told me that they were doing that. That's so... wow. I'm all giddy. I I helped... I helped test it. Tee hee. Tee hee hee. Oh, this is probably, uh... If you fall off the top, maybe? I can't really tell. Hold on. Yeah, the music in this game is, quite frankly, very fire. I can't sandstorm this sand. <laughs> I can't stand storm this sandstorm. Yeah, no, that was just the the top route of this. There's just two routes that you can take, I guess. You say anything else? No, you just <laughs> say a horrible pun. Oh, 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 that was close. <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> Whoa, so hot. Oh, dang it. I didn't think it would blow me all the way back when I was talking to somebody. Focusing, using all of my brain power. Can I talk to this guy without the sandstorm hitting me? Yes, I can. Okay. I was wondering if there was like more dialogue I was missing or something. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a giant fan, that's all this was? Bro, what's your damage? <laughs> can a monster cool off every now and then? Such a killjoy, bro. And it turned it back on. Built to order uh, by Hotline Mechanics. Super seal of Hotline quality. The seal is drawn in permanent marker. I can't turn it back on. My bad, dude. Howdy. Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. Dude, I'm Gun Hat. I'm Gun Hat. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's go to the right first. Sir Slither has a proposition. <laughs> Parentheses. Real. That feels like dialogue that I would write. Parentheses. Real. Real has a he has a proposition. Real, uh, believe you buy into Sir Slither's fancy words. Something feels off. Yes, we're gonna go far, you and me. Ooh. Sir Slither does his iconic side-eyed smirk. Uh, doubt. You step away from Sir Slither. He seems displeased. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out to dry. Um, challenge. You ask Sir Slither 
just what he can help you with. I'm an excellent travel companion, I am. I'm glad that this guy keeps doing the same move because uh, I'm pretty good at avoiding it. I'm just gonna keep believing him. I need to see things my way, human. I mean, it, it seems that believing him puts something over the screen. I can't tell if that's good or bad. I need to see my, things my way, human. I'm just gonna keep believing him and see, see what happens. I assume that the fog or something will get, like, thicker. Actually, maybe... Maybe I just have to keep saying no? Yeah, I'm gonna keep doubting, actually. This one's a little bit difficult. I'm not really sure what I should do quite yet. Fine, but you're missing out on something big! Enjoy the snake-sized hole in your heart. Oh, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere now. Got it. Okay, we just have to keep doubting him. Okay. What? Why was there a cutscene for that? What? <laughs> well, what is that? Hold on. Hold on, I want to go up because there might be something up here I missed. It's Mo. Bro, did he rip his sleeves off? Bam! Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that, we don't have time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer. A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it. That's right. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water. Catchy name, I know. Lucky for you, I'm giving out free samples. Want a glass? Yes. Coming right up. I'm loving the, the Genesis inspired like tunes for this. Oh, one moment. If you know your boy Mo, you know I had planned all of that. Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water, way better. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. <laughs> it started as a glass of ice, but then that melted. All I had to do was throw the tea in a bag in there and wham. Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. <laughs> iced tea, green tea. CT. Okay, I'm gonna buy all of it. Bam! Welcome back! Okay, I'm gonna buy all of it. Uh-oh, looks like you got no space for this item. Oh, wait. Wait, what is this thing? Oh, no, it's a wag- it's a- It's one of those, uh- Oh my god, uh... My brain is braining right now. Aw, oh, dang, there's no boxes around here? Um, old pop, hot pop. Is there any difference? A cold pop heals 12 HP. Lukewarm pop heals. Okay, I'm gonna eat the lukewarm pop because I wanna. I wanna be able to uh, buy all of most things. Okay, green tea. There we go. Drink up! The alphabet must have 25 letters now, because I'm fresh out of tea! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! What? Oh my god, this fucking dialogue, man. I'm sure we'll meet again. Thanks for believing in me. Mo out! 
Yeah, apparently uh, there was a box up ahead. I just didn't know. I, I don't know where the boxes are located, so... I didn't want to assume anything. I want to make sure that I buy out Mo whenever he shows up. I feel like that's going to be important for later. Oh, okay. I just have to avoid these things. Okay, uh, pretend that didn't happen. Pretend that I'm an epic gamer. Pretend that I totally didn't do that because that is a very easy thing to not do. Cactony <laughs> comes out to share his pain. Hey, mate. Hey, Cactony. We touch. Is this gonna hurt me? You give Cactony a careful pat in between two spines. It's so warm. Is this what love feels like? Ooh. Get the green. Ooh. Got it. Oh, <laughs> Cactony. He looks so cute. He's like, <laughs> All right. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Watch it. I have places to be. Got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go. What happens if I follow this guy? Probably nothing, but whoa. <laughs> What is this Michael Jackson moonwalk going on? You spot a dark dislodged stone in the pile of rocks. Take it. Okay, there's probably a box over here somewhere. Hold on. Item. Oh, the feather. The feather's in my inventory. Uh, I don't want to drop that because that seemed kind of important. Now I'll grab that. Take it. You got some flint. Items, flint, info, weapon. I'm not going to be using the weapon, but like, you know, might as well. A set of cubbies dividing the miner's personal belongings. You notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it. Yes. You borrowed the, the steel belt buckle. Ooh, okay. Uh, armor... Well, that's... Mm, I'm gonna actually put the steel buckle back here and maybe sell it later because what I currently have has less defense, but it heals me every turn, so... A set of cubbies dividing miners, personal belonging... A bow tie! A bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, and all very useful. Uh, my avatar wears a bow tie. I like bow ties. Um, in case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Haven't seen you around the mines, friend. Welcome to the greatest place in the underground. I love it here. Everyone is so nice and works so hard. We're a real family. I like these mines so much, I never leave. Everyone tells me to go home, but I find the cold, rocky floor very comfortable. <laughs> and no, they don't pay me for overtime. Whistling. <laughs> you a new hire? If I were you, I'd turn back now. I've been working this job for 12 years, and I've about had enough. I'm probably the only monster that does their job around here. If you need work, go talk to the foreman on the third level. Not sure you'll get far with him, though. Yeah. Okie doke. Getting a lot of salty DK Dan vibes from this. <laughs> from the bow tie. Man who has only seen salty DK Dan. Getting a lot of salty DK Dan vibes from this. As a slime, I'm outraged. As a slime, I'm outraged. <laughs> Is this... Is this all that this guy says? How, how, how am I going to get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed. Man, jammed. This piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this poor elevator? 
Uh, I don't. In case of fire, use stairs. Where are the stairs at? Well, hold on. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have anything that'll fix that. Where are the stairs at? Maybe the flint, but I equipped the flint. Can't think of a way to make this work. Hold on. Candy corn? I don't think that candy corn will help this. Um, steel belt buckle. bomb from the guy this game requires more than three brain cells uh, to go at once flint plus steel belt buckle I can't combine things that's kind of the, the thing that we've figured out I'm going to equip the ice pellets again. See if I can get the flint back. I doubt that it's like flint that is going to save me, but I'll try it anyway. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. I need to find the stairs. Uh, let's see here. Ice pellets. Put that back. Reddit says talk to NPCs multiple times. Okay, Reddit. I'm calm. I'm calm, okay? That was a lie. I'm freaking out. Gotta help me. Okay. Gotta help me. Let's go. Let's talk to the NPCs in the other room again. Keep forgetting this is an RPG. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, there we go. Elevator. It's jammed again? I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. Ah, uh, fine. I'll lend you my pickaxe for a price. That was 30 gold sound. Yep. Okay, I can do that. Obtain pickaxe. Anything else? Thanks for the gold. Easy peasy. I gotta, I really gotta stop relying on chat for this stuff. Uh, there we go. Oh, that was a cool animation. Yo, shout out to the person that made the animation for that stick breaking. Specifically you, shout out. <laughs> Sorry, the way this guy walks. It's so awkward. <laughs> okay. Jeez, he, he he sprinted. Boy needs to go to work. Golly, the emblems on those minor uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss around here. Jokes aside, you got some smarts. Fix that elevator with ease. Proud of ya. You are filled with corn. Bowl charges near you. Uh, clean plant console. Uh, clean, let's try that. Backs up and huffs at you. You're not tough enough to lay a hand on me. Welcome to the salty spittoon. How tough are you? How tough am I? Oh, that was the, the the dog was in the bowl. Did you guys see that? 
was for like a second it popped out. How tough am I? I beat Undertale Yellow without the help of a, a, a live stream chat. But I, I'm tough. Ah, I, okay, this is cool. The addition of, of like the red, uh, the red blanket is very cool. Console. You tell Bold he's cool the way he is. Really? You mean it? It's gotta go left and right, basically, I think, right? Really? You mean it? Okay, I gotta say something else. Besides consoling him. Uh, clean. Use your b bandana to wipe away some of the mud in the bowl. It sparkles. I didn't know I could reflect so much, thank you. And yet you still attack me. And yet you still attack me. I'm helping you. You're smiling. There we go. Hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo jumbo laying around, huh? Well, Corporate said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until the work's done. Pretty unnecessary if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. Okay. Okay, so the circle... And that goes there. So, move that there. Okay. Uh, and then, here we go. And then, there we go. The path has been opened. Great job! I knew you could do it, kid! Won't be another job until tomorrow. I can spend the rest of my weekday doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. I already was. True. Get that paycheck, my dude. A lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. Take it? Yeah. You got the safety jacket. Safety jacket. Armor defense, six. I'm going to try putting it on. You're all ready to take care of business. I lost all of my TNT. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I would go tell him right now, but I lost my hard hat as well. I can't protect my dome from the hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. Uh, I'm gonna put the silver scarf back on. Ooh! Oh, I have to... Are you kidding me? Hold on. I have to push the hard hat. I can't just pick up the hard hat. I have to push it over to this dude. You... You found my hat? You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am eternally grateful. You got the eternal gratitude. I know I said I wouldn't, I would go tell the foreman, but I'm pretty scared. A few more minutes in my uniform won't hurt. Okay. Whoop. Oh my God. Jesus. Yeah, I could see there's a lot of falling rocks. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! 
I just adore mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Gotta find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Yo, this is me playing Minecraft at like age, like, 13. Man, I fucking love mining. Fuck. Ugh. Shelf is filled with uh, s several books, some educational, some recreational. A book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it. The underground has been home to thousands of gemstones, yet only four types have been discovered. The swelter stone, hue, yellow. This stone emits immense heat, some depending on its size. It also is the brightest stone frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. The glacial stone, hue, blue. Opposite of the swelter stone emits a frigid temperature. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowden and Waterfall. The aromatic stone, aromant, a, 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 aromatic stone, a, aromatic stone. I think it's aromatic stone. Hue green. This rare stone smells like apples. That is all. The pink stone. Hue in name. No trait for this stone has been discovered as of this publication. You sift through the book and catch a couple more facts. With the temperature stones having higher quantities in certain areas, they can be a large factor in determining their location's climate. Gemstones do not have much monetary worth within the underground e economy. Instead, they are often utilized for their traits, jewelry, uh, or other decoration. The largest gemstones to be discovered is loca located in the dunes. It is approximately to be as big as 10,000 hard hats. You close the book and put it back. You are now dizzy with gemstone fever. I like... I like how they kind of went out of their way to try to explain, like, the weather and stuff of, of certain areas. That's pretty interesting. Hello there. My name is Angie, the receptionist of the Mining Co. How may I help you? Yes, I am aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate, but my husband, Gilbert, needs to take more initiative. I asked him to do it, but let's see, six hours ago? Sigh. Baby steps. Anyways, I've heard that several hazards have been seen around the dunes. I hope it isn't the Wild East monsters pulling pranks. Uh, they tend to step out of line every now and then. They, uh, and then. I can't help but feel that they're a bad influence on Moray. Ah, uh, those matters don't pertain to you. I apologize. Uh, for that reason, uh, I, we hire anyone who applies. All except for children? I think that's illegal. Welcome to the mining coal mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. Gilbert, please, we've been married 27 years. You can handle the question and the questions yourself. Uh, certainly, dear. Uh-huh. If you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone cold packs later today. And if you're gonna ask about the fallen rocks, I'm gonna investigate it soon. <laughs> no need to worry. Everything is fine. So... What is it? Uh, firing elevator. Uh, elevator. The elevator was broken. That can't be right. We refurbished it last month. The company was given a repair budget for the whole mine. Turns out marble walls and gold tiling adds up quick. We ran out. Gorgeous baseboard job, though. Totally worth it. Okay. Did I miss anything uh, back there? Hold on. Oh, there's another. Whoa, Hoochie Mama, who are you? What's up? You visiting or are you lost? Visiting. Ah, uh, well, uh, there's not much to see. The cave's a real mess. She does contain some beautiful stones, though. I'll tell you that. Hope you enjoy your visit. 
My job is to tend uh, send all gemstones we find this floor down to the sorting machine. From there, I'm not quite sure where they go. That's the problem with this place. You have to figure out the most things you out yourself. It's an honest living, though. Alright. An empty cart sits on the rails. Hop in. Yeah, let's go. The children, they yearn for the mines. Ooh, pretty. There they go. Go, 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 Clover, go, go. Go, Clover, go, go. Go, Clover. Ah. I like Undertale. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Now I can stand in place at a higher elevation. Work is rad. Ooh, more puzzles. Okay. But this one's a little bit more difficult. Um. Oh, that's triangle? Ooh. Ooh, this one's really different. Hold on. Okay, brain cell is braining right now. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Brain cell is braining. There we go. This section isn't that hard, but it's upcoming. Oh, there's more? Oh, this is gonna get difficult. So that goes there. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that should be good. Epic brain moment. <laughs> Guys, epic brain moment. We're braining. So the blue goes here. So let's go reverse. Okay. There we go. Boom, epic brain moment. I just wanted to see what would happen if it hit me. Anything up here at all? You hear gooey noises coming from the crate. Okay. Is that a brownie? What is, <laughs> what is this? Some stale fruitcake sits in a bucket, left over from a Mining Co. holiday party. Take it? Yeah. Just a bucket of trash. Fascinating. Is this like a... Is this like half of a basketball court? What is this? Do people like stand here and then like shoot the basket? Oh, hey. Hello, visitor. Did you know venturing through... Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey! For your troubles, I'll let you sit on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining for material, minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... <laughs> You're so <nothing. laughs> uh, hmm. Put the safety jacket away. Um... Okay. 
to the mountaintop. Cool shades recommended. If there's one thing I'm good at, it, it's making gross noises, apparently. Howdy. Gee, would you look at that? You can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh, <laughs> Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. Means he has a special trait, uh, more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before, boom, you win. I've heard the guy's immortal too. Can't age a second. At least, not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster's soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. A true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. Okay, thanks, I guess. What's over here? This is what's making the freaking boulders? There's boulder making machines? A piece of paper is stapled to the machine. Built to order by Hotland Mechanics. Signature of ownership, North Star. The Rock Dropper 9000? A classic Rock Dropper 900. Technology is amazing. Bruh. All right, here we go. Wow, this is really pretty, though. Look at that. Very pretty. Oh, it's this guy. I've seen this guy and, and I I think I remember fighting him in the beta, but I don't remember his his stuff. Plus I also saw him in a lot of the pre-release stuff. Halt! I, El Bailador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is too quiet. The air is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling. Fervor! If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. <laughs> the Decibat thing. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance! Oh my god. <laughs> to truly find oneself. They must ignite a passion within! Let us duel! Oh my god. I want to see your spirit of fire! One and two and... Okay. Okay, it, it's Guitar Hero. I'm playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> it's time to dance. Okay, so twirl. You clumsily spin around. El Bailador uh, appreciates the effort. Ha! Huh, that was much too simple. Let us try this. Okay. Easy so far. It smells like disco. A uh, smile. Begin enjoying yourself and let out a grin. El Bailador smiles back. Heating up! Oh, I, I like- I like that his music is very- it's like interactive with the fight. Smile. 
The passion, it grows! Alright. This is an awesome concept for a boss fight. 10 out of 10 execution and vibes. No, agreed, definitely. El Balador, uh, Balador, uh, flexes his huge muscles. Why is he called El Balador? This is like, is Bailar to dance? Is that the Spanish word for to dance? Is the o OST out? I think, I think the OST is fully released. Or, or most of it is, and the rest will be released later. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head. I will I, give give Undertale fans like a day. They'll they'll data mine and release all of the tracks themselves. But by, Bylar is to dance. Okay, yeah. I, thank God that my high school Spanish class uh, really retained that information in my brain. Ah uh, yes, this is what I live for. God, this goes so crazy. Yeah, his his name means the dancer. <laughs> it smells like disco. A twirl? A life without dance is empty, I say. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Balador glides around. Stare? You stop dancing and look at El Balador. This upsets him. Others say that dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. I mean, if I miss these notes, then I'll die. Dun, 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 dun. El Balador flexes his huge muscles. <laughs> A world of solitude and silence? That is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. Oh my god. Okay, it's starting to get <laughs> kind of difficult. Uh, if you have a rhythm in your soul. I guess I just have to outlast, I think. We are trapped within a barrier with no hope for freedom. A sad, sad situation. But it is not sad for I. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this fight does go crazy, though. You feel the rhythm in your soul. Three damage per note hissed. Uh, for note missed, yeah. Uh, he, we must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that make us happy. I am outgoing because happiness is not a quiet venture. A v virtue. Fuck. God, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> I often encourage monsters in hope that it is contagious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we still in the mines? Uh, I think we're leaving the mines now. Even if monster kind is cursed to this grim state, we must stick it out to the end. All the way up to the finale! Okay. Oh my god. I'm glad that there's a cooldown if I miss a note. Oh. Is that it? That sounds like it's it. No! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my god. Gamer mode, activate. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's gotta be it, right? Okay. Whoo! Whoo! You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. 
Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered that for quiet monsters such as you. Ah, uh, well, I at least hope one... Ah, uh, well, I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. I love that guy. I hope he comes back. I don't know if he does, but I hope he does. Ooh, satchel. Pick up the dimensional satchel? What is it? What makes it dimensional? A bag? Oh, cool. Oh, I can access it. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I can access the, the box wherever I want now. Oh, that's like a... That's a cool thing. Howdy, looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Alright. Sorry. This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Well, actually, wait. Do they have any more things to say? Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay. What about this way? Attention! Gift shop ahead! What does this say? There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all of our products! The S in front of products is crudely scribbled out. Hold on. Uh, I need to put away... Some stuff. Oh dang, the bag is pretty big. What? What the hell? What is up with this dude? Stop right up! We got a blow-on sale going on! It may look like we're almost sold out, but for quite the contrary, we only ordered one stock of mug. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years! Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now! Only 40 gold! Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course! <laughs> Go fetch it off the shelf and I'll ring you up! This poor guy, what is. Oh. Oh. Enjoy your shards of glass! <laughs> Don't charge anymore, buddy! You break it, you do not buy it! Take the mug shards? <laughs> Obtain glass ammo! Okay. <laughs> it's not even better than the ammo that I currently have! It restores 2 HP after every attack, though. That's pretty cool. Since you bought the mug, I'll have to sell the shelves themselves! Oh no. <laughs> Everybody in chat was saying Jumbo Josh. Like from, uh. Oh my god, what's it called? He's my oh, oh, the there was rocks blocking this before. What is Jumbo Josh from? Uh. The. It's like a crappy, like, baby horror game. Well, I, I don't want to say crappy because I've never played it, but it's like, it's very obviously or aimed towards a very specific group of children. Violetta passively approaches from the flower bed. Uh, ladder. Compliment the rich color of Viola Violetta's flowers. Hi. Visual embarrassment. Oop. Elena nervously shuffles her feet. Fake gamer Salty doesn't know about Garden of Banban. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know what Garden of Banban is. <laughs> I'm, I'm 25 years old. 
I'm not engaged with the Garden of Ban Ban community. <laughs> Encourage. You tell Violetta that she has nothing to fear. All right, here it goes, nothing. Ow. Okay, there we go. There we go. I like the little patch of flowers here. That's Violetta's little home. Howdy. Gee, looks like we're getting close to the exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here. Clover? Uh, great. Oh, hey, it's Marley. Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're... here. I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard, and I left the child for dead! Like, what is wrong with me? Uh, <laughs> calm down. I... okay. I should take a few breaths and properly assess the situation. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw that what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other, any other monsters involved. They might have questioned me, and I can't- I cannot keep secrets. It could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I, uh, sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you are. So, I'm deeply sorry. Uh, forgiveness. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow you wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get the chance to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Alright, party member. Woo! I like her run animation. Dude, this... This bay leaf looking crusty as hell. This, this thing needs, like, some watering real fucking bad. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst speak. Eye-catching water like that, who could resist? Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? Is it always hot and humid? You think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot round here? See, like, not just, but, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. There's a little house down here. Oh, what's this? Ooh, uh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. What? <laughs> Question marks? You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you that I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you... No, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I just... I get it often. Oh, is this Red? From, uh, Undertale Red? Or, I... Is it called Undertale Red? Yeah, I think that this is Red from Undertale, uh, Red. That it's, it's like a... It's a shorter fan game, but it's just like a fan boss fight against this character. I remember playing, uh... The, uh, the Red Fan game way back, uh, and that game is also really good. It's a single fight, but it's, like, really fun. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. N not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, what's your name? It's Clover. 
Huh? N no, not you, silly. Her. I actually... How about Ren? That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. Never played Undertale Red? Dude, if you haven't played Undertale Red, check it out. It is literally just a single, really good boss fight, and it is very fun. Uh, check it out. It's, it's really, like, it's not going to take you long to play, and it's just a fun experience overall. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. Wait, okay, so hold on. Dal from the beginning of the game? It was the person that he was talking about? No, okay, no. This is not the person that Dalv was talking about, because Dalv said that I looked like the person that he was talking about. So I assume that it was another human at some point that, like, he had met. Uh, so yeah. You can even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ha, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, uh, you're serious. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure. S sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Uh, what's in here? Sorry, I'm not home. Sorry, I'm not home. I'm gonna knock again. Okay, that's not working. Let's get some mail. Uh, da, da, da. Got mail. What does the mail say? Mail time! Shufflers left. Oh, the shufflers! To our latest shufflers recruit, Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fella with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, because this letter reads way cooler as a mystery. Now, I'll let you Swig... Now, I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset, Swig. There's a character with a blue hat? A fellow with a blue hat. I wonder who they're talking about. What? Okay, I accidentally walked in there. Never mind. Uh, what else is around here? Some kind of ancient inscription. It, it's hot hopscotch. Oh, oh no! Free hugs and it's a cactus? Hey, dude. I know you say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it. You already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. Can I, can I hug? No, don't bother asking. I'm closing shop, okay? This is a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. <laughs> Not intentionally, of course. That would be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal, and now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away, it would be better for the both of us. You still want to hug? Yes, I do want to hug. Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. <laughs> Please. Okay, I kinda still want a hug, but I'm in on this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Oh dude, I wanna give you a hug, I feel bad! Oh no! No! No, patch the game! Patch the game, let me hug him and then it instantly kills me, as long as he's happy. Please! Please, Undertale Yellow Team. Bake sale, bake sale! 
Come and eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. <laughs> All proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut for seven gold? Yeah, got a spider donut. You are most gracious. Have a nice day. Can I buy another one? Oh, cool. What's in there? A sapling sits in the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but is yet to reach it. One day, it might. So true. Let me hug you! Please! This is so unfair! Ooh, this character design's cool. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. The dunes didn't used to be like this. Rivers, trees, and plenty of grass painted the area, lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. The memories often escape me. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. Poor miners had no idea such large stone could kill an ecosystem. No one did. It was a new discovery at the time. I suppose it was nature's will. I began a small project south of here. I planted a sapling in an empty shelter. The townsfolk and I have watch over it, giving it water every day. If we're lucky, it'll grow into something wonderful. A glimpse of days gone by. Enjoy the rest of your visit, partner. Let me look upstairs real quick. Oh! I found 30 gold in one of the pants' pockets. Take it? Uh, yes. Neon green pants, your favorite. Hold on, can I... I can't go in there. Above the table is a painting of a very large... of a large swelter stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. Oh, is that... is that implying that, like, the quote-unquote sun that we see in the underground is just, like, a really big, uh, heat stone? Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only five gold per fortune. Now, you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality of fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs five gold? Well, your, suspicious, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Yeah, sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Hmm, oh dear. The future seems to indicate that you're in for a tumble. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like a big one, too. It'll happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. Oh, I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. Any fortune, still five gold. Let's see what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. A very specific reading, too. These are rare. In approximately two minutes, it will be 2139. That that's military time, but yeah, no, it it'll be. That's two minutes from now. That That is two minutes from, from right now. That is correct. Well, I hope that knowledge is helpful. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Gah! I have never seen a fortune this dark before. I, I, are you sure you want to hear it? What am I saying? You have a right to hear it. Um, hold on. Let me steal myself first. Okay. 
I see death in your future. Uh, but do not worry too much. Uh, there is time. There is no time given. And well, everyone dies eventually. Maybe I'm seeing 100 years from now or maybe 200. <laughs> that is even better. That one is a little bit. Uh, mm. OK, maybe one more. One more fortune. One more. One more. One more. Hmm. Oh, oh, I got something. Oh, goody. It is you. I see you and oh, this is exciting. You you are walking, walking past a big clear water cooler and oh, wait, hold on. You don't wear stripes, do you? That doesn't look like you at all. Sorry, no charge on that one because it wasn't about you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I can't give any more fortunes now. As part of my training, I can only see the future four times a day. <laughs> we come back tomorrow. Okay, that was interesting. That death one, though... My current theory is Clover has to die at the end of the game. Like, the true ending is Clover dies. Because Asgore is collecting all the human souls, right? Like, Clover has to die by the end of the game. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. This is the only place that keeps up modern trends in the dunes. How do monsters live without good old electricity? Especially those wild East folk. That life ain't for me. Look at this stylistic dude. Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It's the most important, it's the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte, mach latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Why do I choose to live here in the dunes and not somewhere modern like Hotland? Because I want to feel important. If I walk around using tech in front of monsters who don't, I'm the cool one. I'm probably the most secure monster around. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling about not wearing clothes. <laughs> I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. <laughs> That's me, I'm the owner. <laughs> Right along now, I don't see myself improving anytime soon. Okay. Oh, there's a guy here. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. Uh, I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out the Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. I bet you could totally kick its butt. Out of order, please stop feeding it money. Spend three gold to play? Yes. Oh, here we go. Blunko. Mew, mew, love blaster. It pr uh, dash to safety. Give it all. Shoot and hold. Avoid sadness. Spread the joy. Oh, dang. This is like a whole game. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling to spread the joy right now. Oh, I can spread more joy with, with this. What the heck? Is this a... Oh, it's like a samurai? I thought it was like a giant boot. Oh, man. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try one more time, but I really doubt that I'm going to get that far.
Oh. I'm not very good at this. That hurt. Okay, one more time. Now I'm getting kind of like addicted. There we go. That's that good stuff. Oh, I can like charge? Oh, I didn't realize. The dash is really helping. I probably should have used the dash more, I'm gonna be honest. Nice! Okay, this is the farthest I've gotten. Doing pretty good. Doing really good this this one. Oh dang. Oh dang, I'm getting my I'm getting the tar kicked out of me. I need I need health. I need help health please. Oh, I can see this getting kind of addicting, I won't lie. How do, how do you get to the final boss? So like, what, how long does the game have to go on? Oh, that seems like a final boss to me. Oh, shit. Well, I tried. You have to win to get the true ending. Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> I'm, well, looks like I'm not getting the true ending. That was the final boss? What, what it... Okay, chat, be honest with me. Be honest with me? If I beat the final boss, do I get anything? Or is it, is it just like, is it just, it, it, I bet it's going to give you an OP item if you win. It's all you need to win. Okay, fine. Okay, hold on. I'll just try one more time. Okay, avoid sadness, spread joy. So I just need to get a thousand points and then the final boss shows up. The, those witches are a lot of points. It doesn't seem like I get my health back at any point though, which sucks. I gotta, I gotta really conserve my health. Serve health. I'm I'm literally I'm I'm focusing so hard right now, it's crazy. Oh damn it. Uh the witches give the most points. Oh my god. Fine, okay, one more one more time. Blue Bat is the final boss. Uh source YouTube video. <laughs> okay. Spread the love. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh my god, why did I do that? 
I think I'm just better off killing myself now, right? I think I'm just better off killing myself. I'm just trying again. Because, yeah, okay. Gambling, yay! Me, me, love, lad. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying. I gotta beat this bat. Oh my. I gotta kill myself. I can't. Like, if, if I lose. If I lose one health that early, that's just gonna screw me over. Hope you guys are ready for this for like the next like hour. There should be there should be an insta kill yourself button. Okay. Uh okay, focus. It's like it's like I wanna focus by like being quiet, but that doesn't really work for like, you know, a live stream with a bunch of people watching. It's kind of the antithesis of what I'm trying to do here. Spread the love. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, why is there so many? Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna be at this for a bit. I, I don't think that there's any way to get your health back whatsoever. Yeah, there does not seem to be any way to get your health back, which sucks for me, given that I just lost two of my health points. I think it's hilarious how many shooters like this I've played, and I've never touched Toho before. Aww, man. Meow, meow, blah, blah. If you must be silent, do so. Enter gaming mode. Okay, I'm gonna enter gaming mode for this entire round. Okay? One done. Entering gaming mode. Okay, focus. I don't need to rush. Don't need to rush. Don't need to rush. Don't need to rush. I'm not rushing. I just got hit. I just... There was no way I was avoiding that. Oh my god. 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 One more. I said. I know. I said. I know. I said earlier. 
uh, it was, that was the one more, but no, this is the one more. You don't need to beat it? Okay, I'm... Listen. Listen. Okay. I promise. I promise. I'm promising right now. I'm promising right now. This is it. This is the last round. And then I'm moving on. Because I will not be able to keep playing this game. If I'm stuck on Mew Mew Love Blaster for the entirety of, you know, my life. I gotta move on. This is the last one. This is the last one. This is the last one, okay? And I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna focus. My god, why is there so many right off the bat? I get it right off the bat because they're bats. He's so freaking funny. Never mind, never mind, kill me, kill me now. Okay, so, you know how I said, um, that that was the last try? I actually lied. I'm, I'm a little bit of a fibster. I'm a little bit of a fibster and I need to, I need to do one more. One more time. Yeah, I, <laughs> listen, 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 I'm, I just need one more hit. Did, did you know, did you know that, that 98% of players who play Mew Mew Love Blaster actually quit before they hit it big? Did you know that? Did you know that? Run it back, run it back. Run it back. I'm spreading the love. Dude, I do be spreading the love though. Okay, I don't need to rush this. Oh my god! Why? What? Why? 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 How game? How game work? How game work? How game work? Shut up. Shut up. Focusing. I made up my mind. I don't care if this is the rest of the stream. At least it only takes three gold for me to just keep playing, and I think that that was it. There we go. We're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. I don't know what we're cooking. I don't know what ingredients I have, but I'm cooking. No, I'm not cooking. Oh my God, it's shit. I put it in the oven and it just deflated. Oh my God, it's fucking everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere and it stinks. It stinks. It's stinking up my entire fucking apartment. Oh my God, I thought I was cooking. I thought I was following the recipe. Everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong right now. Jesus Christ, I will never enter a kitchen the, the, as long as I live. Oh my God. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay. Just kidding. I was actually cooking, kind of. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Get out of here, get out of here. 
Okay, all I gotta do is just avoid the, the gooblies. <laughs> no! No! <sighs> Who on the dev team came up with this? Who on the dev team came up with this game? I want names. I want Twitter ads. I want everything on this person. I want everything on this person. I, I need to send them a strongly worded letter. Did you know Mew Mew Love Blaster? <laughs> Mimi Love Blaster! Kill me, kill me, kill me now! Why? Wh the, wor the worst part about this is I have to hear her say Mew Mew Love Blaster every time I restart. It's like, it's like they thought I'd forget the name of the game. Mew Mew Love Blaster! Screw you! <laughs> Okay, finally, finally, I'm cooking again. It took a little bit, but I am, in fact, I have discovered the recipe once again. Here we go. Oh my! That thing came out of nowhere. That witch came out of nowhere. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I have to stay calm. Oh my what happened there? What happened there, huh? What happened there? Oh my god. At least I can just hold the shoot button down. Okay. Okay. Take time. Get used to the... Get used to the attack patterns. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! No way! No way! I did it! I did it! I did it! Guys, I did it! I did it! Mew Mew Love Blaster! Mew Mew, Mew, Mew Love Blaster! For real, for real! Mew Mew Love Blaster! What do I win? Do I win something? Do we win something? Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Where, where's, where's my reward for, for doing it? Give me something, please. See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah, tell me I want something. If you're around the area and need monsters to hang out with, my friend group are the coolest kids. Tell me that doesn't give me anything. Oh my. <laughs> Why did I do that? There was no points! Talk to the guy, Salt? What guy? This guy? Yeah, I was talking to him. Sorry for hanging in this game. I'm determined to unlock a secret character I saw on the internet. Uh, so far, I haven't had any luck. Okay, I- yeah, I just- I just have street cred, I guess. Okay. That sure was Mew Mew Love Blaster. Large ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Did I play that for like... How long did I play that for? Like 40 minutes? I feel like I've been playing that for a bit now. I'm sure that that was very entertaining and very fun to watch. Air hockey guy? The guy behind the counter. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, before we leave. Run along now. Okay, yeah, nothing. I 
Chat, calm down. The counter guy did nothing. Salty, don't you get it? Now you can say that you finished Mew Mew Love Blaster. Okay, whatever. Dude, holy shit. Peter Griffin on ground, uh, going... <sighs> cactus? Sorry, buddy. This path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You won't understand. Girl block, baby. It might have reset since you left. You might have to play Mew Mew to talk to him. No. 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 Somebody in chat just said, you're supposed to talk to the person at the counter. Uh, after you left, it might have reset so you didn't get the reward. Here's my question. Here's my question. Chat, what is the reward? What is the reward, chat? Why should I do that again? And also, you know, does it exist? Are you gaslighting me? What is the reward? Poke flute, LMA. Okay, yeah, chat can't gaslight for shit. I'm not doing that again. Screw you guys. Oh, interesting. Uh, the save point usually has Flowey pop out, but because Marley is with me, it seems like he's not popping out. Well, 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 what do we have here? Shut. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I left all my gold at home. Did you lend me one? Yeah, toss it in. Hmm. I wish that Clover will make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Yeah, Clover's gonna die. <laughs> You can be the guy who- You can be the first guy who played Mew Mew Love Blaster and beat it twice. I'm good. I don't need- I don't need every accolade. Huh? Uh, hang on. I think someone's coming this way. Guys, looky here. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. For once, don't look like it is. Hi, strangers. Oh, uh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. Uh, that's what the last guy said. Well, let's just say he's gone with the wind now. Oh, oh my gosh, you, uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we're delighted to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I, uh... Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but, uh, we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. I knew it. Knew- I, I think I nailed this one. Are my pals giving you some trouble? Come on now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? The name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together, we are... The First Feisty Five. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. The J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, 
I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they, uh, human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> Not a sound effect. Oh, wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. But don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Marley of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge. I, uh, left it all in my post in Snowden. Please, don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the fastest six. Uh, alliteration. Shh. Tess. Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Marley is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Marley. It's the last time something exciting happened around here. Well, you've got a point. Ahem. <laughs> This town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and, uh, Feathers? Welcome to the Wild East. <laughs> His fucking face. I can't. Marky, growlers of ice water, uh, and stuff. I have an announcement to make. This little fella here is Clover. Uh, hey, Star. What in the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Uh, Siroba, hush. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. But trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me. I like Western accents. All right, no more heckling from the crowd. Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentle monsters, as Saroba said, Clover is a human. Wait, is this sound font from freaking Earthbound? It sounds really close to Earthbound. I, I love this sound font so much. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would let Clover tell y'all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh, great, here we go. <clears throat> here we go, indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh. Dude knows his stuff. It's true. Large four-legged monsters. They put a seat in the top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Ah, so you know one of them personally. That's quite impressive. Hmm. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. So, the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend horse- My friend horses was killed by a fiery sphere? Uh, no. Uh, well, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Hey, do the monsters die? Uh, no. See? Everyone's fireproof. Anyways. 
Did you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Ha! I knew it! I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best! Yeah, the only sheriff for me! Haha! <laughs> well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. There goes Soroba. As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talking to the townsfolk, and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Okay, so this is a full-on detour, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, it's Mail Whale. You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. Oh, right, I I'm not rhyming. Yeah, no, that's just a company policy. <laughs> it does get a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will... Oh me, oh my, my break's come to an end. See you around next time, there's letters to send. Goodbye, goodbye mail well. Also, yeah, that's a good point. In, in Undertale, you get a cell phone, so... I don't know how long mail is going to be a thing. I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. Dude! Dude! Kid named Finger! Kid named Finger, it's him! I came free with the last sh shipment of bottles. What else do you want me to say? Stop poking around in my business. What is the point? <laughs> what is the dialogue? The point of that dialogue? He doesn't say anything, he's just like, I'm a finger. North Star is the coolest. One time, a construction team was demolishing a building in a new home. But uh-oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared in his wound and wound la wound his lasso up. And wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw, yeehaw. For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million gold. True story, true story. What is this guy? Is he dead? Hi, human. Give me a drink, bartender. Let's talk to this guy. What an introduction, am I right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be scary, all wooden, occasionally making faces at you. I'm from out of town, like yourself. Got some folks I'm close to back west. I really gotta get them over here soon. They love the atmosphere. Look out there, human. That yeah, seems enough. What do you want? Well, what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, graduated middle school. What else do you need? Stuck my way to gig booking and a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fella rolled up and asked me if I've ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great producer, making hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one-wheel television they wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was! They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. Not literally, though. Maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes, it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. 
Have a little foresight. Try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. Let me feel sorry for myself, please. I will not let it go. This thing, this guy has it rough. Also, Metaton reference. Metaton reference. Pew, 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 pew. And if I know what more is this crowded. The temporary, you see? Have price drinks. But you don't know that, so uh, they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. What a lonely box. Oh, I talked to the box. Whatever you do, do not come here during crappy hour. The drinks are twice as expensive, and Dina throws a punch at whoever orders one. Upside is you get a coupon for 10% off your clinic visit at the end. Howdy howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard hidden stuff is off limits. Uh, this town, your snakes, can I leave North Star? Oh, this little place? Yeah, it's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its names, if you get me. Well, I should be polished on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planet. Your snakes? Haha, <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas right here are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Ann, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in a crevasse of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Uh, can I leave, please? You can at any time. It won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Uh, Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. Uh, that ain't right if you wanted to go. Uh, I try not to infringe on sheriff business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. Uh, what about North Star? Tell me about North Star. Uh, what a character! Our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. This old posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Uh, not to mention Saroba, his childhood friend. Uh, I get a kick out of her and Star's antics. But when she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one. <laughs> uh, now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get a whole gang. We really need to get the whole gang together again. That seems suspicious. Zoroba has uh Zoroba has a daughter. I didn't realize that Zoroba was that old. Okay, I can't buy the adult soda. I want to buy the adult soda. Ice water. Root beer. It's family friendly. The feisty slider. Heals 30 HP. A little baby burger. I think I only need the root beer. Okay. Actually, maybe I could sell... I'm gonna sell some of my stuff real quick. Root beer. Um, yeah. ice pellets, safety jacket, steel buckle. Um, coffee bean ammo, rubber ammo. I'm gonna sell all this. This is a bar, not a market. Bl okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to Blackjack, then. Hi, hi. You there, human. Hi. You okay? Uh, yeah. Hi. Really? Hi. Well, alright then. Hi. I apologize for Star's antics. Hi. He's really into human culture and whatnot. Hi. You show up here and he flips out. Hi. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. 
A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but I never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but I'm not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? Castle? Barrier? You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him for a bit. Roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I talk to you later. Over. It was nice to meet you. What if I want to talk now? Nope. <laughs> Nothing to say. Okay, so where is the... Place like Whoa, yo! Flowey, nice hat. Howdy! Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. <laughs> like the hat? It's a disguise. <laughs> this area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Marley is pretty lucky, but I hope this star guy doesn't mind <laughs> doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. Okay. But <laughs> I say, for I am a horse each and every day. I crunch upon carrots and munch upon hay, but a shy horse I am, so please go away. Sorry, I only had the time to write one jingle. <laughs> it took me all night. Maybe I'll think of another one soon. That last line wasn't a joke, by the way. Being a horse is my only form of true expression. <laughs> Excellent follow-up. Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six-shooter? It's a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs three gold to play with the potential of profit. Oh no, not more games. Oh no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get caught up here for like another hour. I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the same reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, the game will be you will be rewarded with 25 gold. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15 gold. Anytime after that will allow you to break even with 3 gold. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. You understand? No, I don't. I got lost after the first sentence, but let's just go. Oh, okay. I, I kind of get it. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Um, uh. Bruh, what? What did I do? Okay, never mind. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> that one's too much for me. Uh, let's see. Look at this guy. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Haha, <laughs> I would bury myself in the sand if I could. Yep, yep. Um, damn, this fan game is long AF. Yeah, I, I imagine so. 
Oh, also, uh... Also, Wee Bros, I'm gonna make you a mod. Real quick, because, yeah. OMG, this is really, it really is Luigi Casino. Have you met my cousin over by the Oasis? I was gonna say... The fact that I've met multiple talking cactuses and none of them are related. Not... Okay, that sounded racist. What I'm trying to say is... Not all cactuses... Talk? I don't... Okay, I don't know. I, I really buried myself on that one. My bad, everybody. <laughs> what a sad sight. Um... Boo-hoo. What he needs... What he needs is a visit from the Wild East, he does. Lift the spirit right up. Oh, yes. That other fellow near the well? Oh, I do not know them. Lying around in this heat will dry you out, as they say. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderfully happy go time there. Hi, oh yes, I'm sure you will. Uh, hey kid. Uh, sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. Uh, this whole thing snuck up on us, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm optimistic about it. Uh, not to brag, but I'm basically Star's right-hand man. I do all the heavy lifting around here. Star just asks nicely, and uh, off I go. Uh, ain't that a cool relationship? I'm sure you'll have a good time here. I'm looking forward to the training. Okay. What is this place? There's a big hole in the floor. How comfy. You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft! Push the hammock and sway is hypnotizing. Surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. Turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel. It's just static. Wait, so like, am I a mod permanently now? I assumed it was just for the stream. No, you're a mod permanently now. Unless you abuse your power, in which case I have to destroy you with my evil laser eyes. That's just, that's just how it is. Sometimes I just feel like modding people. Ah, uh, hey. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but... There's a fun card game. To I... Listen, I know. I know there's a fun card game in this table. I played it. It was fun. I'm not good at it. My friend runs it and I oversee the profits. Should try it out. No, I'm good. What's up? Um... About Marley. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the wind, the wild east is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, we've never met her, but I've just heard that we look alike. Oh yeah, I can kind of see that. Uh, don't worry. It's super fun here, I promise. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Jail. What, Marley's in jail? <laughs> Clover! I knew you- I knew I could count on you. So, uh, me getting out of here. Uh, any luck? Uh, soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway, uh, that Sheriff Northstar, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's got to be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows this unjust, that this is unjust and will free me. When the time comes, I'll... I'll... Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Asgore or another guard finding out about you would be the end. Uh, well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all this. Maybe by playing along, you could gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. What a day. 
Gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, whole streams, TV programs I've missed. I don't do nothing bad, I swear. Northstar will pay for this. I, I mean, I, I bought a drink for him the other day. He needs to pay me back, <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder where I could buy a train. What? Uh, I'm just talking to myself, ignore me. Okay. We'll make it through this, Clover, I know it. Okay. I'm just vibing. Howdy. Hiya. Swell job shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Swell job shitting on that stool. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I can't read. I can't read. I'm sorry. I read it like a, a third grade level. I can't. <laughs> Swell job shitting on that stool. Very cool. Swell, swell job sitting on that stool. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling we'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Why are you looking at me that way? I was just being friendly, honest. It's nice to accept someone's kind words and leave it at that. What is, what is this guy? He's sleeping. I can't interact with him. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold on. Let me... <laughs> Hello? I'm here for the free worry box. <laughs> After I check what you think, the doctor that he went out to a worry pub yesterday. <laughs> Every day of this fluffy bitch to cheer me up. Uh, welcome to the Wild East Clinic. Uh, we put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Uh, hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an up and run price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? Deal! Come closer and I'll begin the procedure. Hmm, yes, I see. A little bit of this, and done. You gain 15 extra HP- wait, really? When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. I might take risks, but I'm not crazy. Haha. <laughs> okay, well that's an extra 15 HP for a little bit. You know what's better than Wabby Pops? Hot chocolate pops. I I'm not watching a more game you want in. I might just wait him over the big house. I wonder how long it will take the door to realize I'm not dead. Okay, thank god I don't have to read for that one again. Oh my god. Um okay, where where do I barter stuff? I wanna like sell my my junk. Howdy! You got any of that the uh, any of that catnip? <laughs> I've been dying to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. <laughs> uh, you were almost tripped. I couldn't carry that Katya and turn you into fight survive. Yeah, <laughs> uh, be my careful, partner. The fact you didn't fall for my trap is pretty neato. Maybe you'll fit in around here m better than I thought. Unless you're a man in disguise. <laughs> uh, I'm only joshing, partner. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack's. Today's special. Fancy holster, great for defense. Ooh! Uh, greetings! Take a gander, just don't touch anything. Oh! Chica! Oh! 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 Thank you, I will make good use of this. Thank you. 
Um. And my inventory is empty, empty now. Gunpowder. A uh, heals question mark. It may be edible. Uh, finely crafted. Silver ammo. Fancy holster. Ooh, eight defense. Uh. Well, hold on. Let me let me check something real quick. Armor, worn hat. Well, yeah, I I think I think I'm gonna keep the silver scarf because I still think that even though the defense is lower, the the continuous health restores is great. Greetings, take a gander. Uh, just don't touch anything. Ugh. Ask away. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. Sigh. Holy shit. Dude is strapped. <laughs> Dude just brandishes that? Holy shit. Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. Oh. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce. Always waving them around like they're some child's toy. Oh. However, I've learned how to benefit off of their behavior. I'm the only monster around here that provides such quality weapons. So whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more for the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches, so ha ha. Uh, for now, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh. Your wares. Oh, yes, my gallery of babies. Well, for dwarf stash. Oh, no, that sounded strange. Mm. Dude really just wants to show me that he, he has that thang on him at all times. That's right, I'm strapped as fuck. Oh. These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forged them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. Oh, pretty Fazbear. Oh. <laughs> Markiplier's dead! Oh no, he's okay. Never mind, he's fine, he's fine. Guys, guys, Markiplier's okay. He's... he's okay. Oh, oh. I saw... I saw Bandit in, in my rafters. Oh. Oh. Um, let me see. Visitors. Wild East gets many visitors each day. Oh. There's something uh, about the aura here that uh, some monsters can't get enough of. Oh. Oh, now don't worry, I'm not selling ultra deadly weapons to passerby without enough gold. With enough gold. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. Oh, oh. I myself am not one for violence. Well, oh. I use enough times consecutively, they could be lethal. But then again, a ballet shoe could also be lethal used enough times. Look, don't question my mor morality too much. I'm not prepared to speak about it. Oh. <laughs> Was that the bullet of 87? Was, oh, Chica. Oh. I've heard about this. I heard about this town some years back. I mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to, looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was enough empty building here, so I thought, why not? Oh, seems like quite the perfect town for such a shop. Oh, I do regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters oh, every day. Everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Oh. Thank you for having a conversation with me. Bye bye. Wish you good travels. I like Markiplier. 
giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill. Ooh. An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Yeah, what, what, what's the deal? A broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn, but could be worth something. Does this mean I can sell this? One, 100 gold? Okay, I was gonna sell it, but I feel like it seems... It seems like that might be important. So I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Ugh. Old pop, hot pop. Uh, somebody said to go back to the hospital and see if I can give uh, one of the, the pops to uh, the mouse guy. Okay, no, I can't do that. I mean, good idea, though. That potentially could have been something. Okay, uh, spider donut. Okay. Uh, where else can I go? Jail. Saloon. Oh. I didn't talk to Northstar. Are you ready to begin? Uh, no. Let me save real quick. Actually, what time is it? Oh shit, it's 10.44 already? I think I've been streaming for like around like four hours. I'm gonna be honest, I am getting a little bit tired. I don't want to end it here, but uh, I'm just a little bit tired. And I don't, I don't want to rush this. So I am going to actually end it here. Uh, again, before I end though, uh, please check out the GoFundMe in the description uh, to help out uh, a friend of mine. Uh, his dad had a stroke and he is working on trying to move from state to state and, you know, money issues. Uh, I'm going to be trying to think of like maybe like a donation goal that we can hit for, for the GoFundMe's going forward. Uh, I really, really appreciate everybody coming by the stream today. Uh, I know that this was kind of sudden, but, you know, I'm trying to get back into streaming again and uploading regularly, so I, I really appreciate you guys coming by. Uh, I hope that you guys had a good night just hanging out and chilling. Uh, and yeah, uh, the next stream should be in a day or so. Uh, gonna be honest, I have, a, I have a couple of things I need to do before uh, I can stream again, but I'm gonna make it a priority. Uh, this is definitely being completed on stream uh, within the month. Like, I, it should only take another stream or two to finish the game, I think. Uh, I haven't decided if I want to do a genocide run yet. Uh, that'll have to depend on, you know, like, how long the game is and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I appreciate it. If anybody has any ideas for donation stretch goals that I can do to help raise money for some people, uh, by all means, hit me up on Twitter uh, and, you know, tell me your thoughts. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really appreciate everybody coming by. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night. Uh, the next stream should be in a day or so. Uh, look out for uh, the, the, the schedule on the YouTube. It'll, like, pop up. Ring. I, I guess this is where I say ask people to ring the bell so that they'll be notified when the next stream goes live and all that stuff. Uh, should be... I'm thinking... Here, let me look at my calendar right now. I, c I can actually make, like, an actual decision if I just look at my calendar. Um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, Monday sounds good. Actually, wait. I have an, an apartment inspection on Monday, potentially. Shoot, I have it on Tuesday, too. Um, it's also... Uh, the next stream's also not going to be this late at night. Uh, I really stream during the days a lot more now because uh, my partner has a job and needs to go to sleep uh, early at night. Uh, except on the weekends. Uh... So yeah, just just keep a lookout uh, on YouTube. The next stream will be early next week, uh, either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and yeah, uh, appreciate it, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a good night. Treat yourself well. Uh, get make yourself a cup of tea, drink water, do all that stuff. Love y'all. I love Undertale and Undertale Yellow. Shout out to the dev team. Uh, obviously, they've done an amazing job so far, and I've been really enjoying my time with it. 
Uh, and next stream, we'll be getting to the segments of the game that I've never seen before or even like glanced at. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, yeah, I, I think that that's everything. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. 